Happy New 2021, everyone. Welcome back. Resident Evil. Resident Evil Biohazard Gold Edition. Now, I'll be honest. I played Resident Evil 7 uh, through VR on PlayStation. I mainly played it on PlayStation. I never played it on PC. However, I got very deep into the game, but I never finished it. I never finished it, and uh, I felt like wouldn't it be great to jump into Resident Evil 7 with a full complete edition, gold edition, and experience this game through Amazon Luna. Uh, I was kind of shocked to see that the uh, Capcom has really jumped into uh, Amazon Luna. So does this mean that we'll see Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3? Uh, we're going to see Resident Evil 4 and the upcoming Resident Evils on Luna and Stadia. I don't know what the deal is. I have no idea what Amazon is doing with uh, Capcom. But I think Capcom wants to be... Uh, I don't think they want to go... Well, they have done that in the past. Capcom has done that in the past. When Sony offered them money for Resident Evil 7, it was exclusive on PlayStation VR only to Resident Evil uh, only to Sony I remember that clearly back in 2017 January 24th uh, Resident Evil 7 PlayStation VR for one year was only exclusive to Sony so maybe who knows maybe Amazon and Capcom have some deal going on who knows what might be happening we don't know behind the closed doors what's up Devin Happy New uh, 2021. I hope you guys had a great New Year's Eve. I had a lot of fun with you guys uh, last night. Uh, we played uh, Cyberpunk on Stadia. We put in like 15 hours. Uh, it was pretty pretty crazy though, 15 hours. But it's not my longest live stream. I have done longer. I have done 19 hours. Uh, so it's not the longest one. But it was definitely something that I haven't done for the new year i've never done this for the new year it was like the first time i have done this to go into a new year and then to the new year day uh all the way till like 3 30 in the morning close to quarter till 4 a.m so you guys probably went to bed at like five <laughs> but you guys stayed in there man uh some of you left at one some of you left at two and some of you live in pacific west coast so when it hit three o'clock it was already new year there uh, but out on the East Coast, uh, you guys hung in there. And some of you from Europe, man, they were there till like 7 um, or 9, 9 in the morning. Uh, so I was pretty, uh, pretty impressed that you guys hung in there like good troopers. I feel like uh, I'm like a platoon leader and you guys are my privates, you know, my corporals and privates. And I have a staff first sergeant, you know, Desperado and Mamba. Mamba is the first, uh, it's a staff sergeant. And I'm the uh, the platoon leader. Uh, then I have a captain. So it was pretty, uh, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool to see you guys, you know, stay there for 15 hours. Uh, yeah, Michael, I did. I tried in VR and I was uh, terrified, terrified. Now, it's really, uh, there's the one game that I really have a difficult time playing in, uh, in VR. It's this game. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like having those unnecessary panic attacks. You know, sh shit comes out of nowhere, jump scare, you know. Uh, it's, it's, I'm not having a good time. You know, I, I'm not into that kind of stuff. I know some people, they love that, uh, put on a VR headset. Same thing with uh, Alien Isolation. Alien Isolation, I cannot play that. Hearing the footstep of the Xenomorph running around in a spaceship, uh, ah, forget, you can forget me about that. You know, like uh, Alien Isolation and Resident Evil uh, 7, these are the two games. That's a no-no for me. But I don't know, maybe one day I'll, I'll have the balls to do it. 
I'll grow some extra nuts, you know, and I'll be able to, you know, suck it up and go in there and do it. But for right now, no. <laughs> I'll, I will admit, uh, certain games will give me a headache. Uh, like this one can do it for me. Uh, I tried Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption 2 looks great in VR. It's beautiful. You have to use a certain software to to play the uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 in VR. However, riding on that horse in a first-person mode, dude, galloping like that, you know, it really makes, especially if you have eaten something or if you were drinking coffee, dude, you're going to throw up. It's really, uh, it's uncomfortable. But you can choose a third-person mode, so you're looking like, like a drone it feels like a drone like you're looking from a drone you're following arthur morgan with a drone and the drone is recording everything right um but i can see why some people would feel sick playing uh red dead redemption now grand theft auto grand theft auto 5 it's really done well in vr okay there's a specific mode you can use uh for the vr uh, and it looks great Grand Theft Auto 5, I had no problem. Even with the profile that I use on the Warps, works great. Uh, had no problems, had no issues. I had to adjust a couple of things here and there. Grand Theft Auto, was, it's done well uh, in VR. But uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, I, uh, I can't do that. People ask what kind of software I'm talking about. Well, this is the software I'm talking about. This, this software right here. Uh, this is basically what I'm using. Uh, it's a Warpx, and it um, you can use different profiles. You can load the profiles. You can see there's many different games, many different types of games you can you can try and whatnot. Uh, you have to have a VR headset. Uh, the only downside you have to pay. You have to pay obviously for uh, for this software. It's not free, but you do get a lot of cool VR experiences if you are really a hardcore VR guy. If you're not like a hardcore VR person, then I would say don't spend $40, you know. But if you are somebody who loves VR and you want to play every game in VR, then this software will do that for you. You do have to tweak certain things uh, to adjust the, uh, the field of view so you can see the map, you can see the menu, uh, the, the tracking, okay. It's using the VR headset as a IR tracker. Uh, like it thinks that the, that the headset is the IR tracker inside the 360 uh, video that is sending a feedback. And so you get that VR VR experience, if you will. This is just in case you want to know what I'm talking about. But anyway, we're not here to talk about the VR. Uh, VR is going to be a, a specific video, specific stream, specific subject. Um, I still have Medal of Honor. I haven't finished it. I got tons of game I haven't finished. I'm still playing Cyberpunk. I haven't finished Cyberpunk. So without any further ado, let's jump into um, Resident Evil Biohazard Gold Edition. Let's see how this looks. Let's see if we can adjust certain settings. So let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's not waste any time. Oh, now it's available on select Android forms. Okay, cool. I'm going to have to get the controller, man. I'm going to have to buy that controller. Uh, the Luna controller. This game has an autosave feature. Cool. This is so great when you just click. When you just click and play... And you don't have to wait for anything. I like that stuff, man. Here we go. Resident Evil. <laughs> I miss cassettes, bro. I gotta tell you.
Oh, there's extra content. Band footage. Not a zero. End of Zoe. Jack's 50th, 55th birthday. Ethan must die. Oh my god, look at all this extra content that you get. Cool. Now let's go and uh, look at the options. All right, let's look at the display. Obviously, display is going to be 1080p because Luna is still in uh, early stages. It's an open beta. I mean, uh, selected beta. I'm sorry. Not open beta, but selected. Selected beta. Means you have to be a beta. Selected beta. You have to be like me, soy boy powder mill guy, uh, to be able to join this shit. And you have to be. Um, selected and you have to be uh, confirmed and all that it's kind of like joining the army man you have to go through a recruiter and blah 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 and so it's kind of like that and hopefully you get selected all right so let's see if can we adjust the graphics this is display 80 fill the vision 80 camera wobble on Phone icon on. Uh, obviously, uh, they don't support HDR here. Okay, so you cannot actually adjust any graphics settings. Uh, so it looks like this game it's optimized for uh, the Tesla Nvidia cards that the uh, Amazon Luna it's using okay <laughs> all right so without any further uh, further ado let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, Let's start the new game, shall we? Here we go. I want to make sure the sound is uh, it's up. I want to make sure the sound is way up. 82. Okay. Yeah, the sound... Before I start, how is the sound? I just want you can you can you hear the music is everything good I just want to make sure that the sound is good um. <clears throat> well if you have a glasses it could be a problem you know you gotta remember you gotta put something else to 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 press think about it you're putting the VR headset on top of the the glasses and those glasses will be pushing in into your eye socket. So it's kind of like you, you, you're you putting the pressure onto your glasses, into your eye sockets. And you're going to leave a big circle on your eye sockets. So I don't know if it's a good idea um, to use the VR with the, with the glasses. Uh, honestly, um, if you feel uncomfortable, I wouldn't use it. What's up, AHH, the based? The beast, the beast, the beast is here. What's up, Ram? Uh, how you doing, man? Here we go. I think this is better. I'm gonna adjust the sound right here. All right, let's start. I'm gonna go on easy, man. Listen, bro. I'm gonna go on easy. I'm gonna go on easy. Easy peasy, man. Easy as a pie. Come home to my loving husband. 
gotta get back to work. I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. Bye, baby. Dude, that looks like my laptop. Looks like an Alienware. <clears throat> shouldn't have all I can say is that if you get this boom stay away yeah Resident Evil 7 is great I played it many times before but I never finished it uh, because I was playing it in VR and I just couldn't I couldn't continue <laughs> hello hey it's uh it's Ethan. Oh, hey. You all right? You just disappeared the other night. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm This good. is Louisiana, right? Swamps of Louisiana. She's not dead. She's alive. <clears throat> she, she's back. They found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. And maybe it's a prank. She wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. I know, I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. A lot of gators, boy. And a 13 foot gator down there, boy. I got some big ass gators, man. And they make that hissing sound. <laughs> I oh, mean, this looks great. Latency is not that bad. I would say latency is about 23 milliseconds or 24. Um, not bad, Luna. You see, Luna, it's doing it. Amazon, it's playing it safe. And I always said Google Stadia should have done this in the beginning. They should have played it safe. Maybe they wouldn't get so much backlash in the beginning in 2019 if they played it safe. And I think this is a lesson learned. Uh, and I think Amazon is learning the lesson from Google. They're playing it safe. Uh, just like the X Cloud, it's playing it safe. So you learn from your mistakes, right? Oh, there's a five different DLCs, as a matter of fact. Uh, five. Five long ass DLCs. It's a this is a complete edition. There's everything in it. Like everything included. Now, Luna, you need to bring Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Resident Evil 4. With all the mods available, all of that jazz, bring it. And GeForce now, you got to bring Resident Evil, GeForce. I, I got a bone to pick with you, uh, GeForce. Come on, NVIDIA. What, what the hell? The graphics are really good, man. I like it. Let me see if I go here. Yeah, I played the World of Warcraft. Um, I have a Battle.net. I have a account with Battle.net. Uh, I have a Blizzard. But yeah, yeah, I played World of Warcraft, but it's uh, eh, not my cup of tea. Sewer Gators. Sewers Gators, boy. Come on, boy. Join us, boy. From Louisiana to Tennessee to Kentucky. I'm going to have a dirt, dirt derby coming out soon. Uh, 
accept the uh, her gift. <laughs> accept her gift. Accept her gift. Should I accept her gift? Oh, Lord. I didn't know I can go through here. Holy shit. I totally forgot. 2017. Can't believe, can you believe this game It's 2017? 2017, 18, 19. Three fucking years, man. Is it two and a half years? Fuck, dude. Time really flies by, man. Holy shit. 2021 already. Fuck me sideways. This is crazy. But this game is holding up pretty good for 2017 game. Come on, boy. There goes the grandpa, boy. I want to help him out out there. And I burned some tire, boy. You're now in a family. Oh, you played uh, World of Warcraft for 12 years. Oh, that's it, man. You already, uh, you already, uh, whether you like it or not, you're already a uh, World of Warcraft fanboy. It's over, dude. <laughs> it's too late for you, bro. <laughs> you're like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Superman. Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill, it's a World of Warcraft fanboy. He's been playing it forever, dude. You know he missed a phone call. You know that, right? When Zack Snyder called him, it was a missing call because he didn't want to pick up the phone because he needed to level up. He needed to go to this one dungeon and level up or something. Uh, and he says, fuck it, I'm not, I'm not picking up the phone. But it was Zack Snyder asking him, hey, are you ready to start training for Superman, Man of Steel? And uh, he called him back, but it was actually, he said it. He missed the fucking call. Because he was playing World of Warcraft. True story. Oh, I don't like this. Horse's legs. Oh, this game is so nasty. God damn. God damn nasty. Ah, oh, shit. This shit is nasty. All right, we're not going this way. We gotta go back. Gotta go back inside the house. It looks like a 60 FPS to me, dude. Look. This is definitely 60 FPS. This could be a great Predator game, dude. Um, Capcom should make a Predator game. I already looked at that. Good. Join me. We need something to cut this open. There has to be a tools over here. Oh, 
Hold on. Accept her gift. I'm sure that the old man dropped a tool or something. Hold on. Come on, boy. What's the matter, boy? Come on. Come on now. Their daddy got no time to waste for you to come down here. Down the under. Go down the under. Come on. Come on. Go down the under. Down the under, boy. There you go, boy. Down the under. Yeah, that's it. See, I'm the jackass. I'm the jackass redneck. Forgot to fucking go and, uh... <laughs> go, go fucking crouch. Ah, oh, dude, I, f I fit right in, dude. I can fit right in in Texas, West Texas. I can fit right in Western North Carolina. I can definitely fit right in Nashville, boy. Tennessee, I can easily, I can easily see myself like in Tennessee, riding a horse. I fit right in, bro. Them Smoky Mountains. All right, let's see. Ah, here we go. Come on, boy. Drop down. Oh, shit. Did he cook her? No, he cooked somebody, dude. Driver's license, Texas. What's up, Spike? How you doing, Spiegel? Happy New Year. Happy 21. Happy 21, dude. It's 21. 21 Jump Street. The year of Johnny Depp. Did I forget something here? Uh, no, I already checked it. I already looked at her uh, driver's license. I already did. All right. Get in there, boy. This is your home, boy. It's a five-star hotel. Oh, shit. Can't see nothing. Uh-oh. How do I turn on the flashlight? Holy crap. Holy mother of God. This is why I don't play this in VR. I love this kitchen. This is where I like to eat my food all the time, dude. I love it. I don't even clean the dishes. I just take it like this. And I just eat. You know. Oh, look at this clean, fresh water. Oh, beautiful. There's no corona here. People say, well, what do you mean there's no corona here? Corona doesn't want to be nowhere near here. Uh, corona looks for a fresh, for a fresh body. Clean, fresh body. They don't want this kind of disgusting thing. So this is probably the safest place to be. Uh, corona free. I'm telling you.
telling you right now. What's up, Jordan? How you doing, man? Happy 21. Of course I know Jordan. Beautiful uh, Jordan and the... Uh, there's a place in Jordan um, where you have this desert that looks like Mars. I forgot the name of it, but it's like it's a, the one place on this planet Earth where uh, you feel like you're in Mars, like you're on Mars. There's a place in Jordan. Uh, I forgot the name of it. Uh, they got these canyons and... and um, these um, it's like a canyon desert canyon but it looks like a, looks like Mars like everything's so reddish um, but yeah there's the well the movie the movie The Martian was filmed there in Jordan and um, parts of uh, Prometheus was filmed there as well I think Ridley Scott Ridley Scott was there many times in Jordan you know the, the director, film director Ridley Scott. He was there many times in Jordan. Um, I think he had made a good relationship in both Jordan and um, business, film business relationship in Jordan. And uh, where else he went? Morocco, Morocco, Morocco. Well, that's where he filmed Black Hawk Down in Morocco. That's why he, the movie looks so authentic. They were able to build a similar Somalia. Uh, town, you know, and, and uh, the villages and the roads of Mogadishu. So, yeah, I know, Jordan. <clears throat> What's up, Mexico? You from Baja? I always consider Baja to be parts of San Diego, California. Because <laughs> a bunch of, uh, listen, a bunch of Americans live in, in Baja. Honestly, you look at the coast of Baja, it's just like a bunch of Americans living down there. Uh, but are you are you from Mexico City? Mexico City, man, twenty million people, twenty million people, Mexico City. I don't know how you guys deal with the traffic. Twenty million people, man, Mexico City. Holy shit, man! I don't know if I could deal with that traffic, bro. It plays great, man. It plays great on Luna. Uh, so far, so good. Low latency, 23 millisecond. Um, what is this? I need a key for this. What's up, Juggernauts? Happy 21. <laughs> Happy 21. Hi from Argentina. Argentina's pretty cool, man. And uh, my condolences to uh, Diego Maradona, man. I can't. I can't. I mean, I, I was so sad when that when that happened, man. That day. Uh, didn't he like die in a hospital like after surgery or something the surgery uh, didn't go well I don't know is that how he went but it's a guys you guys uh, have Messi Messi's gonna you know obviously Messi is the uh, the captain now El Capitan but it was so sad to see him go man him and Messi man they were like uh that was, that was like his mentor. That was like his like a father figure to Lionel Messi. You know, uh, Diego Maradona. You know, to him that was like a father, like a father figure, and uh, you know, it hit him the it it hit Messi the worst because that was like his father, and you know, this gotta be really tough for for Lionel Messi, man. Um, to to just move forward and and you know. It's still hard to believe that, that he passed away, man.
Yep, yeah, that's true. In two years, yeah. He's going to go to MLS, but it's good for... Listen, uh, I think it's good for him. I don't think Messi has uh, anything to prove. I think he proved himself. Uh, it's not like he has to prove anything. You know, uh, same thing with uh, Cristiano uh, Ronaldo. I don't think he has to prove anything either. Uh, they prove themselves. Uh, their records speak for themselves. Same thing with uh, Ibrahimovic. Uh, same thing with uh, with Jeko. I think these guys have proved themselves. You know. Jekko is now playing in... Uh, Edin Jekko plays now in Roma. And it's a good choice for him to be in Roma. Oh, shit. Vadi Ram. Vadi Ram Valley. Hold on a second. I want I want to show people this. Uh, bef before we continue, you guys got to see this, man. Uh, Ridley Scott talked about this. Uh... He says that's his f favorite place to be. Uh, it's so peaceful. It's like, here, let me show you. It's it's a it's a Mars. It's a paradise, Mar Mar uh, a paradise on Mars. It's like unbelievable. Hold on. Um, here, let me show you. Here we go. Uh, I just want to show this to you guys. Here you go. By the way, Jordan is a beautiful, beautiful country. Beautiful. Women, culture, everything. I mean, just the, the, the cleanest, the cleanest country, the cities, everything. It's just beautiful, man. My uncle was there many times, uh, but he passed away. He had a, he had a spinal cancer uh, and he passed away. Uh, it was a long time ago, but he used to go there and make contracts, and and because uh, my uncle, who's in Bosnia, you know, they, they had contracts, uh, building. Uh, he was an architect, you know, for for building buildings and stuff like that. Yeah, I want to show you this. Um, it's beautiful, like Ridley Scott. I know Ridley a little bit, and I I really don't. I keep it private. I don't talk about this. I mean, we are friends on Facebook, but guys, Ridley Scott, it's eighty years old. Uh, you know, he's got two sons. Uh, he's running the company, Scott Free Production. His wife, it's Italian. He goes to Italy. He goes to, uh, you know, uh, United Kingdom. Goes to uh, Great Britain, where his studio is. Then he goes here, Los Angeles, and goes to other places. He's a very busy guy. Currently, he's working on uh, the third part of uh, Alien. That's following up the prequel of Alien. He's working on that called uh, Alien uh, Awakening. He's working on that. Currently, he's going to start working on that. I know him a little bit. Um, and he told me, uh, it was a long time ago, he said that he loves going to Morocco, loves Morocco, loves the coffee of Morocco, uh, loves that, uh, loves Morocco, and loves Jordan. Loves Morocco and Jordan. Has really great friends up there. He goes there all the time. He was he filmed uh, Kingdom of Heaven. He filmed The Gladiator. He he filmed uh, Body of Lies. He filmed a bunch of movies there. Uh, he has a really great relationship in that parts of the world, in in Morocco, and uh, Jordan, Wami Rum. You know, so he talked about that. He actually he talked about it a lot. How much he loves it. Even his son Luke. His son, Luke Scott, who's also a film director, uh, talked about it as well. And uh, he's pretty big in Italy, man. He, he has so many Italian friends. That's why I have so many Italians following me, because uh, of Ridley Scott's wife, who's also Italian. Uh, and, you know, she has a lot of Italian relatives. Uh, I don't know why I'm telling you this. You know, I should keep this, keep this private. But anyway, I don't think, I hope you don't mind, Ridley. I hope you don't mind, you know. <clears throat> he just turned 80. I think 80. 
81, actually. He turned 81. Jesus, Ridley. No, 80. 80. He turned 80. Happy birthday to Ridley. He was in November, uh, by the way. His birthday was in November. So happy birthday, Ridley, man. I hope I hope you live 150, bro. Your movies are, man, they're the greatest. Oh, my God, Desperado. His name was Zuhair. Uh, my my uncle's name was Shaheen. 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 Uh, and he died of that spinal. Uh, he was such a great man. Listen, man. Uh, just like thinking about him. Um, I would do everything to be like him. The guy, really, honestly, he makes me want to be a better man. Uh, he was such a, such a great man of principles. He helps everybody. He doesn't get angry. He's always focused. He can always throw in a good joke. What a great, great... You know, I wonder sometimes about God. Why does God take good people away? Maybe there's a reason why he takes them away. I don't know. But man, I'm sorry to hear about your about your uncle. Zuhair. Zuhair. I'm sorry to hear about Zuhair. I'm sorry to hear that, man. When did he when did he pass away, if you don't mind asking me, Asperado? Happy New Year, N1. Trous X. Thank you. Happy 21. I hope this is a peaceful year. I hope everybody gets a peaceful year this year. Uh, I think we deserve it. It's been a rough year, 2020, for, for a lot of people around the world. And uh, I think it's time. I think we deserve the break. And uh, I said a few prayers. Hopefully the universe will hear me from my ears to the universe ears. Hopefully they will hear me. And hopefully it will be a peaceful, peaceful, subtle year. Oh, yeah, he was there. Matt Damon was there. He was there with Ridley when they were filming the um, in Vadi Ram when they were filming uh, The Martian. He was there with him. Two years, two years ago. My condolences, uh, Desperado. So sorry to hear that, man. You know, just remember great things about him. And do you know how you honor? The best way to honor your uncle or somebody you look up to. The best way to honor them is to live in their footsteps. To live in their footsteps. To become like them. That's how you honor them. What does that mean? It means to have principles, uh, to be a good person, to, to know the difference between right and wrong, uh, to always help those who need help. Uh, if you see injustice, to call it out. If there's an injustice, to call it out. To call people out who do something shady or do something wrong. Uh, it's about the courage. To have the courage to call somebody out when they do something wrong. Uh, and you know, to have that principle, to live by that core principle, I think that's how you honor them. And that's how you move on, man. And um, that's something I'm still trying to do. Still, I, may, I do it, guys. I made so many mistakes, man. Uh, I, I mean, I'm far from being the saint. Guys, um, it's just I'm not talking about it. But I'm, I made so many fucking mistakes, man. I made so many terrible mistakes in the past. Uh, I was young. I was stupid. You know, I wasn't using my brain. Um, but I think I'm, I'm learning from it. I think I'm learning from it. I'm learning from that war in Bosnia. I'm learning from, from me being here in the States, in New Europe, uh, meeting different people, different cultures. I think I'm learning. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm soaking it all in. I'm learning from that, and I'm trying to, to learn from all of that and move forward. But I'm, I'm far from being the saint, honestly. I'm far from, from being the saint, you know. All right, so let's continue with Resident Evil. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, but... Uh, you know, it's live stream and we do talk. We do have a chatter while we're doing the live stream. Um, and I know some of you are going to watch this on, on a video later on. But uh, please do try to understand. It is a live stream. All 
Oh, oh my God, it's everywhere. Oh no, oh God. It's everywhere. It's really a pandemic. Uh, this, this whole business of uh, scalpers, scalpers or scalpers, whatever you call them. Uh, let's just call them bullshit artists. Uh, I like to call them not scalpers. I like to call them bullshit artists. These bullshit artists, uh, stealers, who buy all these consoles. I mean. They don't realize how much karma, how much bad, bad karma they're just putting onto themselves. They don't realize what they're doing. It's wrong. I don't know if they realize like, hey, dude, what don't you have any principles, man? Like, aren't you afraid? Like, I would be afraid. What happens after after I die? I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go. Because I don't know. Why? Because there's something more powerful out there. And uh, come on, guys. You know, morals. Where is the morals, man? You know what you're doing. It's wrong. Stop doing that. Yes, we all need money. I get it. You don't think I need money? You don't think they, they need? Of course, everybody needs money to survive. But there's a good, there's a righteous way of making money. And then there's a shitty way of making money. Choose the righteous way of making money. Don't choose the shitty way of making money. You're not helping yourself. You, you're putting a bunch of um, bad, bad deeds, bad omens, man. Bad karma. Karma is too slow, but it comes full circle. Believe me when I tell you. I've seen it my 41 years. I've seen it front and center. Front and center. I've seen it. It comes full circle. Don't do it. Do the right thing. You want to sell a console? Sell it for $500. Sell it for $500. You want to make money? Sell it for $500. There you go. You can do the right thing. Or you can return it. You can send those consoles back. You can do the right thing. You can do that. But come on, guys. I mean, what the fuck, man? Yeah, this this kind of stuff really uh it's really bad, you know, that there's that there's individuals out there who do this kind of crap and they don't realize what they're doing. It's really inheriting a bad karma. And for what? For a piece of plastic electronics? You're willing to put that onto yourself to put that bad karma onto yourself because of a piece of plastic and electronic inside? Come on. Do the right thing. Return those consoles. Let people buy it who really want it, man. They have families. They have kids. Let them have it. Do the right thing. I hope some of you scalpers, bullshit artists are watching this. Do the right thing. You know it's the right thing to do. You don't need me to tell you what's the right thing to do. You have a conscious in your head that's connected to the universe. Do the right thing. You can start fresh. 21. January 1st, you can start fresh. Start fresh by doing the right thing. It's never too late. Do the right thing. Come on. Anyway, let's move on. All right. Ah, this door is closed. I need to find the key. The key has to be here somewhere. What was that? Did you hear that? Oh my god, it's been what? Three years? Three and a half years since I played this.
anything here oh yeah there's the tape I got it there's the letter man I'm too afraid Ryan Smith happy 21 I'm too afraid to to, to play this in uh in a VR. I played on a PlayStation VR and I was terrified, bro. I was terrified. That's a good question. When the problem's gonna be solved with these uh, scalplers, bullshit artists? Um, it's a pandemic, man. It's greed, you know? They'll have to realize. Look. I let the universe sort that out. Call it God. Call it universe. Call it fill in the blank. Um, I let the God sort that out. It's not my place to say. Let the God sort that out for them. Maybe the God will show them why. They should stop doing what they're doing. Give them a sign. Let them know, hey, stop. Uh, so let the God sort that out. It's not my place to say. But it's it's just sad to see that people are willing to do this for the piece of plastic and and, and you know uh, electronic inside. You know, come on, man. You know we gotta have morals. Even if you're not a religious person, even if you're not a superstitious person, um, you should have the morals to know. Hey, this is wrong, man. There's no excuse. These people know exactly what they're doing. These individuals know exactly what they're doing. You know? They know exactly what they're doing, and, and uh, they should bear responsibility for that. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Some countries, like United Kingdom, uh, in the parliament, they wanted to pass the bill. In parliament, they wanted to pass the bill to uh, put some kind of restri restrictions to pass a new law and a restriction on how many consoles can you buy like one per person with the ID uh, so they're trying to do something in the United Kingdom but I don't know if the if the parliament's gonna vote on it I don't know if the uh, the Boris uh, uh, Prime Minister's gonna assign it approve it I don't know but at least United Kingdom is trying to do something about it but your guess is good as as, as mine you know it's sad. Look, the whole thing with PlayStation 5, it's just uh, this is some sad, sad situation. I don't know what to say. <clears throat> you know. That's the father right there. Come on, boy. Boy. Oh, that's interesting. When you turn it upside down, hold on. I see something else when I turn it upside down. Do you guys see what I see? Do you see the two eyes and the head? Check this out. Hold on. Dude, you guys have to see this. Dude, that was crazy. Hold on. When you turn it upside down, I don't know if you saw it for a minute. It was there. Hold on. Do you guys see it? It's right here, dude. It's right over here. Hold on. Right over here. Right over there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, man. It's going to be hard for you to see it. But there's like a, a two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. You can see it. Right on the top right corner. You see it? Thank you. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta take out the trash. Give me a sec.
Yeah, it is weird as fuck, dude. That's crazy. Hey, happy, uh, happy 21, Juan. Welcome back. Yeah, that looks weird, dude. I just, I just noticed this, but you have to turn it upside down to see it. That looks weird as fuck. Man, let me look at this photo. There's a reason why you got to examine these photos because you can find certain things. All right. Let's find the tape. Where is the tape? Look for the tape. To the family, boy. Come on. Come on, boy. Oh, I need to get the, uh, I don't have a cassette. The fuse is missing. I need to get the electricity back online. Phil Harrison? Well, I haven't spoken to Phil Harrison, uh, honestly. Uh, the only time I had exchanged a tweet with him was um, uh, November 19th. November 20th, 25th, I'm sorry. November 25th, uh, 2019 was the only time I uh, was able to exchange a tweet with him. But it was a private message. It was through email on a Twitter. Um, like a messenger, a Twitter messenger... Not an email, but a Twitter messenger. And, uh, no, he just said, hey, I'm glad you're enjoying uh, Stadia. Thanks for the support, man. Because I guess he felt like I was the only person he could talk to because he was getting so much hate on November 20th uh, of 2019. You know how much backlash he was getting. So he felt like I was like the only, uh, only person he could hug at that moment. So... Um, I also spoke to, uh, what's her name, uh, Jade, uh, briefly through the uh, Twitter, uh, but she really can't say much, guys. Don't bother her asking her when this is going to happen, when that's going to happen. She can't tell you, okay? She signed the agreement. She cannot tell you what they're doing. So don't bother her asking her, you know, all these questions, man. She can't tell you. Jade, Jade Raymond, she's from Canada originally. Uh, she worked in the Assassin's Creed. Uh, uh, Cliff Blazinski knows her as well. Uh, Phil Spencer knows her as well. Uh, Jeff Keighley knows her. They all know her, man. She's like pretty big in the in a gaming community, bro. Uh, Jessica Chobot, she knows her as well. Everybody knows her. Adam Sessler knows her. I mean, she's pretty pretty big in in gaming community, by the way. All right, let's find this fuse, man. Let's just get out of here and find this fuse. Um, I've already seen that. I know I got to do something here. There is that fireplace right here. I know there's a fireplace here. And I need to pull something. It's right here. And I'm going to find the tape. Oh, yeah. She's, um, she's married. She has kids. Uh... But yeah, she, she's a sweetheart, man. All right, can I... Can I go through here? Oh, wait, there it is.
Oh, look at these roaches. Oh, shit, man. Oh, yeah, Jeff Bezos. He knows her as well. A lot, a lot of people know her. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but Phil Spencer knows her really well. Uh, of course, both... Did you guys know this? Phil Spencer and Phil Harrison, they're like really good friends. Yeah. Uh, Phil Spencer and Phil Harrison, they know each other. Um, and, uh, of course, Phil Spencer knows Jade really well. And listen, Phil Spencer's a cool guy, but I don't know why he doesn't like me. I... Whatever, you know. Because I don't... I have nothing against you, uh, uh, Phil. You know? I, I guess he didn't like my jokes. I guess he didn't like my jokes. It's what it is, man. He didn't find my jokes funny. Damn it. And I think that's what it was. He didn't find it funny. How do I know he doesn't like me? Because he removed my tweets. Uh, the ones I made a joke about, he removed them. Uh, and, uh, dude, I was just, I wasn't trying to offend you, man. I was just making some jokes. If it wasn't a bad taste, I apologize to you, Phil. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to, to make you feel bad. I wasn't trying to pick on you. I was just trying to, I don't know, loosen you up a little bit. I don't know. I mean, but hey, if I offended you with my jokes, I really apologize, man. I'm, I'm truly, I'm sorry. <clears throat> What's better, Stadia or Luna? I have Stadia. Um, well, the, here's the difference. Luna, it's a like Netflix currently, but it's still a open. It's like a beta stages. It's a closed beta. It's not even open beta. It's a closed beta. Only selected people can play it. Um, it's like a Netflix, okay? But you don't have to pay for a video game. Like, whatever's available on Luna, it's part of the subscription. And But you have to have Luna Plus. You have to pay a $5 for Luna Plus. I'm sorry, $6 for Luna Plus. And then, if you want to use a Ubisoft Plus, you got to connect your and link your Ubisoft account. Uh, difference with the Stadia, Stadia, they do have a pro subscription. And you do have a bunch of games included with a pro subscription. But, however, you still have to pay. You have to pay for Cyberpunk. You have to pay for other games that you don't have a subscription with, like Ubisoft. Uh, you still have to pay so that's kind of like it could be a downside to some people that you have to pay uh, But Luna right now currently in the closed beta Everything it's like Netflix, you know like Amazon Prime Netflix you just click and uh, You don't have to pay you don't have to pay for the game Whatever's available. It's available you click and play <sighs> I love the original Xbox. Listen, I have nothing against... Listen, I have Xbox. I have Xbox. No one has done more videos on the Xbox than... This guy! This guy! Look, I'm even using the Xbox controller. But, I don't know, Phil Spencer took my jokes the wrong way. And again, I apologize publicly to him. If he ever sees this video... Uh, I apologize to you, sir. I mean, I wasn't trying to, like, make you feel bad or anything like that. I was just, maybe the jokes were in a, in a bad taste. Okay, you know, that's my bad, and I apologize, you know. I just didn't know that some people are sensitive to jokes, and, and you know, it's my fault, you know. People react to to certain jokes differently, and it's my bad. You know, I apologize to him. He I, he got offended, I guess, by 
I made a I made a photo, a f a photo uh, photoshopped um, 2001 Space Odyssey where uh, you know uh, Homo sapiens uh, prehistoric cavemen uh, are throwing the uh, throwing the Xbox Series X on top of the PlayStation 5. And then uh, the the Xbox Series X, it's bouncing off of PlayStation 5. And I start calling it a uh, PlayStation 5 monolith. Basically, I was referring how powerful the PlayStation 5 monolith is. And uh, Prehistoric Caveman is going to be dropping the Xbox Series X and worshipping the PlayStation 5. I guess he felt offended by that because, you know, he talked about the tribalism. He made a tweet where he talked about the tribalism and he doesn't like the tribalism so I was like okay let me uh poke I felt like joking and poking at him a little bit but I guess he didn't he didn't like that you know he didn't like that what I did so he removed that and other tweets uh and now I know that he doesn't like me I know he doesn't like me so but that's okay you you, you might not like me but I, hey I love you Phil Spencer it's all good man even if you hate me, it's all good, bro. You know. But look, it's my fault. My grown ass my grown ass should have known better that some people will react differently to jokes. People get sensitive, some people get offended easily, and and, and it was my fucking fault, you know. But anyway, let's go. Yeah, I have my shadow. I have my shadow. I have my um, Stadia. I have my Luna and uh, GeForce now. Maximum settings. I don't know about maximum settings. Uh, forget about maximum settings. But they haven't canceled me yet. After 30 days, I haven't used it. They haven't canceled me. What's up with that? I don't know. It's available in select cities. Uh, Chicago and uh, I think uh, parts of New York City. I don't know. Ask uh, Mr. Urban. Oh, I was added to the list of streamers tonight. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Um... And your mama knows. Your mama knows what you did. But she ain't gonna tell you tonight. When you bring your girlfriend, she will unload all this information where it needs to be for you to read. Come on, mama man. What are you doing now? You should have known better. <laughs> Happy 21. Where's uh where's uh Cameron D, man? What's going on with Cameron D? I know he likes to work out, but where is he? Cameron D probably was partying, party hardy last night. Council Wars. Oh my, I hate console wars. Yeah. Mia. Mia.
I got to go back up. Hold on. What kind of steering wheel did you buy? Uh, I think I need to find a cassette. I gotta watch that tape first. Before I do anything else. Um, you have a prediction. Microsoft's going to make a great, uh, huge upset. Well, that, that's great, you know. I want them to, to compete, you know. That's what I've been trying to say to everybody. I like competition, you know. I want both sides to compete. I don't want the Sony to hold a monopoly. I don't want anybody to hold monopoly. I don't want Luna to hold monopoly. I don't want Stadia to hold monopoly. I don't like monopoly. Monopoly is not good for you. It's not good for me. It's not good for consumers. So... I like competition. Competition is good. Competition is what we need. So hopefully, Microsoft will do that. I want to see it. I'm unbiased. You guys know that. You know, I I, I welcome that. I hope that happens. Uh, oh shit! I cannot go back up. Oh, I'm 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 fucked here, dude. There has to be a crowbar. Has to be a crowbar or something for me to cut the chain. I haven't turned on my Xbox One X in a long time. I don't even know what it looks like. I don't even know what the user interface looks like, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, that's great. That's all great news. If they're going to make a deal with Steam, they already got Bethesda, they already got a deal with uh, CD Projekt Red, they got deal with... Uh, uh, Capcom, they're already making a game or something with Capcom. So, that's all great. That's fine and dandy, boy. That's all great. I like that. I like to see Jim Ryan shit his pants a little bit. Uh, and Herman Host. Herman Host. I love that. I like competition. Bring it. Competition's good. But if, you know... But it's not all about that, all right? It's also about who can bring the best games, exclusive games. You know, it's not about a quantity of games. It's about uh, exclusive still matter, man. You know, I can play. Here's what I'm trying to say, and here's what Phil Spencer did never understood. What I was trying to tell to tell to Phil. Listen, Phil. All you're doing is giving people a, a choice. They can play it at your place or they can play it at the PC. But you got to do more than that, man. You got to do more than that. You got to bring exclusives, like kick-ass exclusives, like a new IP exclusive, just one. Dude, you don't need five. You don't need two. You don't need three. You don't need four. You just need one kick-ass, badass type of James Cameron avatar exclusive, the new IP exclusive, okay? You got to bring something to the table, man. It's 21, 2021. You got to do that. That's what you have to do to really kind of like upset 
the Sony establishment. That's what you have to do. But I haven't seen you do that. I just haven't seen you do that, man. You know? You're more like a service to me. You're more like a, like a HBO Max and Netflix, you know, like a service. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, I get it. There's a benefit. Game Pass Ultimate, I understand. But people can play those games elsewhere. Uh, they can play in VR on their Steam. Maybe they love Steam. They don't want to go through F Xbox. I don't know. I'm simply saying you got to focus on making that one kick-ass, badass, fucking once in a century, once in a fucking century, kick-ass, badass, IP, new IP, kick-ass, badass fucking game ever made. That's what I would do before I leave this planet, before I die. I want to make the greatest fucking game ever in 21st century. Can't you do that? Do that. And that's all you need to do. But you haven't done that. It's been eight years, man. Eight and a half years. Nothing. We don't care about the remasters. We don't care about the remakes. Perfect Dark. Whatever. We don't care about Halo anymore. We don't care about Forza. And, and listen. And Gears. I'm sick and tired of Gears. You got to bring something ground fucking breaking. And you haven't done that. You haven't done that, sir. And everybody jumps on my case when I say this. But it's true. He hasn't done that. You can spend $7 billion, Riddle me this. You can spend $7 billion to buy a company. But you can't use fraction of that money to create a kick-ass, amazing avatar type of an exclusive fucking game. You explain this to me. Sir, you explain that to me. How? Why? But none of you Xbox fanboys, gotta call you out, none of you Xbox fanboys want to say that. They don't, you don't want to You don't want to talk about that. Even Ryan McCaffrey doesn't want to say it because he's a friend with Phil. You're not helping Phil. You're throwing him softballs. You are his simp. Sorry, Ryan McCaffrey. You are his simp. Just like you are simp for Elon Musk. Because you're driving Tesla. You're kissing his ass. Elon Musk doesn't care about you, dude. That you bought a fucking Tesla. You think he'd read your goddamn post? No. He doesn't give a fuck. But you kissing his ass. Just like you're kissing Phil Spencer's ass. Ryan McCaffrey. You know. All I'm saying is this. Xbox needs to bring James Cameron type of avatar video game. A new IP that has never been done before. New innovation. Brand new fucking game that we never played before. And it turns out to be the greatest game ever made. Can you do that? Why don't you set the goals that high and try and do that? That should be your goal, Mr. Phil Spencer. If I was the CEO of the company... That would be my goal, to make impossible possible. But you haven't done that. You haven't done that yet. Come on, man. Everybody here knows what I say is true. Whether you're an Xbox fanboy or whatever, or you love Phil Spencer, don't love Phil Spencer, or, or I don't care who you are. Deep down, you know what I just said here. It's so damn true. And this is exactly why Xbox is always behind the curve. Because they haven't proved anything. They couldn't even successfully showcase. Now think about this. They couldn't even successfully showcase Halo Infinite. Even on a PC. It was running on a goddamn PC. And they couldn't successfully showcase the fucking game why are you running it on a pc why aren't you running it on the damn xbox series x it's pathetic you can spend seven billion to buy a bethesda but you can't even optimize a goddamn halo infinite to run on the xbox series x 
on the E3 damn show or whatever the show they did last year. You can't even do that, man. You can't even showcase your Halo Infinite running properly on the Xbox Series X. But you can spend $7 billion to buy companies for someone else to do the heavy lifting for you. All right, you got Bethesda. Okay, this is what you do. You spend $7 billion on Bethesda. Why don't you have a meeting with Bethesda and tell the Bethesda to suck it up and listen. We gave you seven billions of fucking dollars. Now we want you to create the greatest game ever made exclusively on Xbox. Can you do that for seven billion? You better fucking do that for seven fucking billion or I'll see your ass in court. So what's the point of buying them for seven billion? I don't understand. I don't understand this company. I'm sorry if I have Xbox fanboys coming here. I don't understand your company. I don't understand Phil Spencer. I don't understand Microsoft. I don't fucking get it. So sue me. I don't fucking get it. That's all I'm going to say. Even the share button on the Xbox is there. Even the share button... Uh, no, on the uh, PlayStation. Even on the PlayStation, they have a share button. A share button on the PlayStation. Xbox doesn't even have... You can't even... Dude, you can't even live stream directly to YouTube from the, uh, from the Microsoft. How pathetic is that? Do you know why? Because the Windows and Microsoft... They have too many obstacles. They, it's like Apple. They want you to go through Microsoft. They want you to use their service. Everything has to be through their service. They're not user-friendly. Just like Apple, they're not user-friendly because Apple wants you to use their service. They want you to use the QuickTime. Everything has to go through Apple. So same thing with Microsoft. They want you to go through their service. Everything has to be through their service. And then... Phil Spencer has the nerves to talk about the tribalism. Dude, you have the nerves to talk about tribalism? Seriously? With all the BS that you have put into the uh, Xbox? Tribalism? That's the hypocrisy at the worst level. Talk about a tribalism. You need to look at your company first. You need to look at the Xbox before you start talking about tribalism. Phil Spencer. But you don't want to do that because you know people are telling the truth. And that's why you remove my tweet because I'm telling the truth. And you don't want to acknowledge the truth. You can mask, listen, you can mask the truth. You can hide the truth. But the truth will always be the truth. No matter where you put it, no matter where you hide it, no matter where you mask it, the truth, it's the truth. And that's what you guys have to live with. All you Xbox fanboys will have to live with that truth. Okay, I don't care how powerful your console is. You got nothing on there where I can say, hey, do I have a reason to buy an Xbox Series X? Give me a reason. I have no goddamn reason right now to purchase that console. Even if they had it in stock, even if it was sitting in the stock right now, no goddamn reason to buy that damn console. <sighs> Zero. No innovation. What kind of innovation did they put? Where's the innovation? Same controller, an extra third button. Very bland console. Square console looks like a trash bin. What's the innovation? Where's the innovation? I don't see any innovation. What, 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 what have you innovated? You just put an extra graphics card, put an extra memory RAM, and that's it. That's it. It's an upgrade. It's not a new console. It's an upgrade. It's a damn upgrade. It's not a new console. It's a damn upgrade. Don't don't call it a new console. It's not a new console. It's a damn upgrade. A damn upgrade is what you have created. Damn upgrade. Exactly, advanced gamer. They haven't even changed the user interface. It's still the same. It's still the same crap. You can't even tell if it's the Xbox One X or Xbox Series X. And they're confusing people. 
Xbox One S, Xbox Series S, Xbox One X, Xbox Series X. Which one is it? How many consoles are you going to have rolling around? What's next? Xbox Series XL, Xbox Series SSLL, Xbox Shortwave Radio. I mean, what, 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 what is next, dude? Xbox Trash Bin. How many damn Xboxes are you going to be rolling out? you confusing the fuck out of people. People don't even know. Like, parents don't even know. Hey, what should I get? I see a bunch of different Xboxes. What am I getting here? It's confusing the hell to me. PlayStation, you know. PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, 4 Pro. What does the Pro mean? It means Pro. It's a little bit better than the 4. But it's the same 4, but it's a little bit faster. PlayStation 5, it's a PlayStation 5, number 5. You know it's brand new, it's 5. It's number 5. And it looks different, and it's number 5. It says freaking 5 on there. 5! It says goddamn 5 on it. And I have to do this backlash on the, on the Microsoft and the Xbox. They deserve it. Because they haven't done anything. They haven't done a diddly, diddly shit they haven't done. Anyway, let's move on. So that's my rant about the Xbox. The greatest console on the planet to play. We are pledge our allegiance to the gamers that will always put the gamers first. Let me read the teleprompter. The gamers come first. Clap, clap. Stop clapping. We know here at the Xbox that the gamers comes first. We want to make sure that the gamers get the first chance of opportunity to be the very first to get these games at no cost, no money needed. Everything will be included. Hold on, I forgot to read my teleprompter. Give me a fucking break, man. Enough with this bullshit. You know. Um, at least I have the I have the balls, I have the uh, uh, I have the testicles to fucking call it, for what it is. You guys don't have the testicles. You powder milk, uh, soy boy, fanboys. I have the testicles to call it what it is. You should be doing this, not me. You should be doing this. You should be writing the letter to Phil Spencer. You should be writing the letter to the uh, CEO of Microsoft, telling them what what a garbage this is. But you haven't done that. Because you are a fanboy. And you're just going to soak yourself in that fanboy of, of green, green bubble. In the bubble green bath, you know. So that's how, how I feel about Microsoft. So you can digest that and take it any which way you want. Let's move on. I need to find the uh, the key to open this thing. <clears throat> ah, there it is. There's the crowbar. Thank you, King. You see, at least you can admit it. You can say, hey, even though I'm an Xbox fan, but he's right. This is a very uh, honest criticism. This is a honest criticism. And we as Xbox fans, we should be able to criticize our company. You should be able to criticize your company. You know? Why? Because you want them to do better. There's nothing wrong with that. And if Phil Spencer gets uh, offended by his fans criticizing him, maybe he should step down. You're not a good CEO then. Means you're looking for simps. You want simps fans. A true hardcore Xbox fans will say, hey man, come on, you're killing us here. Where's the games? 
Where's the uh, these IP exclusives? What's going on here, man? Come on. You know? PlayStation is killing us. PlayStation is dominating us. It's like a dominatrix. We are like a bunch of gimps. No, really, like we're like a bunch of gimps sitting in a freaking in a cage. Because you won't do anything to make it happen. And Jim Ryan is laughing his ass off. Herman Holst is out there laughing his ass off. I want Xbox to be successful. That's all I'm saying. I want Xbox to be successful. Do you understand, guys? I want Xbox to be successful. And I hope they become successful. But so far, I haven't seen Diddly. I haven't seen nothing. All I've seen is mistakes, mistakes, and empty promises. Empty, empty promises and bunch of mistakes. They haven't learned anything. Maybe they're going to start fresh. I hope they do. It's 2021. I hope they start fresh. I hope they start brand new. I hope they got new plans put into place. Because I want Xbox to be successful. Do you understand me? I want competition. That's all I'm asking for. Competition. I hope they can uh, bring something to the table. But the time will tell. Time will tell. And I hope I'm wrong. I hope they do bring something to the table. But I haven't seen nothing. Especially during this pandemic. They didn't do anything last year. Uh, so when are they going to start releasing these games? 2023? Uh, I'm just saying. The only reason. The only reason I can see myself getting the Xbox Series X and I said it yesterday the only possible reason that my Mr. 4K hairy ass could see myself getting the Xbox Series X it's because of Flight Simulator Flight Simulator that's what I want I want to play Flight Simulator on my beautiful 2020 C10 LG OLED and uh, I want to have that specific yoke that will be released with flight simulator so yes that's the one reason i want to get it that's the one reason only reason but besides microsoft flight simulator i, I swear to you there's really nothing nothing that i can't play on my pc nothing that i can't play on on playstation 5 and nothing that i can't play on a uh cloud gaming so i hope that they do more than just Flight Simulator. I hope that they bring out uh, Forza Horizon, some other games, and I hope that uh, Resident Evil Village looks and plays the best on the Xbox Series X. I hope. I hope. I hope that the uh, Resident Evil Village only has a Dolby Vision on Xbox Series X. I hope they do something. I hope they bring that. I hope that they do that. And I hope that they surprise us this summer with virtual reality and say, oops, we got this virtual reality that has a higher resolution than the HP Reverb and a higher field of view than um, Valve Index. And it's only, and it's only 500 bucks. I hope that they do that. I hope. I want to see that. But so far, I haven't seen anything and, and I'm just gonna leave it at that I know I've been butchering this I've been beating this dead horse now for how many minutes I know and I apologize for that but this is something that had to be said something I had to say from my mouth to their ears hopefully they hear me It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Are you alright? You shouldn't be here. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? He? Who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? 
Daddy? We need to go now! Where are you taking me? Someplace safe. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone for three years. Three years? Has it really been three years? First, I think it's this way. <laughs> Mia, we have to talk. That message you sent me. Not me. That wasn't me. But you did. I didn't. Okay, fine. Just tell me what's going on. I'm telling you everything that I know. We have to go this way. It's been such a long time, man. I barely remember this. Mia, are you sure you know where you're going? The family used to bring me food through here. I remember. Another door here. I'm sure of it. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, we're going to be a family now that you're here. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. Mia. We got to get out of here. Stay here, all right? I'm gonna have a look around. Sure, right? Dude, I totally forgot about this game. Uh, it's been such a long time. Like, I totally forgot all these uh, moments and scenes in the game. Who's this old man? There's a doll over here. That's Mia? They even made a doll out of her. What? What the fuck? What the fuck? Mia! What the fuck? Where'd she go? Mia! She go over here, she go upstairs. Huh? 
Where the hell did she take her? I got pretty much everything except uh, Valve Index um, and HP Reverb. And, well, Pimax. Pimax, HP Reverb, and uh, Valve Index. Those are the three I don't have. But I got Oculus Quest 1, and I've got Quest 2. Uh, I like Quest 2. <laughs> it's a high resolution than your Rift S when you put it on. Oh, yeah. All you need is a software. Uh, some software out there called the Trison. Trison. Uh, they have a time trial on it. You can get that software. You can download it and uh, and you can play games on. Uh, but you can only play Steam games. Steam games. Uh, you have to go through Steam. Basically, you're gonna use that PlayStation VR through Steam. Uh, it takes a little while to adjust. I mean, it's up to you. Uh, I have uh, Samsung Odyssey, so really there's no reason for me to use the PlayStation VR with the PC. I use the PlayStation VR with the PlayStation VR. But uh, I have Samsung Odyssey, higher resolution, and it's OLED. Uh, just like uh, PlayStation VR, it's OLED. It has the OLED panel uh, in front of the goggles. So um, I use my Samsung Odyssey. Uh, and it has AKG, AKG headphones, AKG headphones, uh, it works perfectly, man. But Quest 2 will give you, hands down, the best possible resolution. Uh, the Quest 2, listen, the Quest 2 even has a higher valve index. Think about that. The resolution, it's even higher than valve index. So when you connect your Quest 2 with your PC, you'll have a much better, better, better uh, experience, hands down. Well, you don't have to buy all this stuff, man. Come on, man. You don't have to buy it. Just uh, when you get a chance, you know. Mia, where are you? Where's Mia? Take that. Can I open this? The fuck? Fuck is not going.
Fuck me, man. Fuck me sideways. Fuck me sideways. Oh my god. Oh shit. Jesus. Oh my god. My God, I can hear her. I can feel her clawing her way back inside of me. Get out, leave me alone. Oh, my God. Jesus. Do I have a knife? Oh. Fuck me sideways, dude. I don't want to do this. I'm dead, Ethan. I can never leave. Let's not do it. Damn. That was intense, man. There's a phone. Got to pick it up. That's the guy who's going to call me, right? I remember now. You really shouldn't have come here. Who's this? Man, what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. Ah, Zoe, Zoe. Go Zoe. Through the attic. attic. Go there. Now. Go through the attic. What? Her body disappeared. K. 
Can I use the uh, first aid? Hold on. How do I use the first aid? Wait a minute. Oh, here we go. Is this oh there's a tape let's save the game yeah Jesus I gotta say, it runs pretty good on Amazon, man. This is uh, Amazon Luna. It's fucking great, man. It's uh, still in closed beta, early access, and uh, this is what we're getting. That's pretty cool. Hold on, let's watch the tape. I want to watch the tape. Where's the damn tape? Uh, it's right here. And I still haven't found that fuse, but I'll find it. Man, I gotta tell you, I miss my VCR, dude. I don't know, I get nostalgic when I when I see a VCR. I was like, dude, I'm so nostalgic. I, I miss my VCR, dude. I really am. I'm missing the VCR. Get my juice, my orange juice. Who? Where did you find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. This new guy? I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. New plan. We do a walkthrough of the inside first, then we shoot the intro. Just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shithole. Happy? Ecstatic. Ah, uh, you talking about a blockbuster in Alaska? Yeah, yeah, it's still there. But it's Alaska, man. It's middle of nowhere. <sighs> you know. Are we rolling? Thank you, Caesar. Right, let's go. How you doing, bro? Well, get out of the way. Life has been, you know, not the greatest, but just trying to survive just like everybody else, man, you know. I don't think anyone's uh, enjoying their life that much with this 2020 and with the pandemic and all the stuff that's been going on. Uh, but, you know, got to stay positive, got to move on and uh, deal with it in the best way you can. And that's it. But uh, how you been, man? How's your life? Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. Blockbuster bus tour. Oh, <laughs> God. story, Andre. Abandoned farmhouse, missing family. Foul play suspected. The usual. Luna, it's not in 4K. For those of you who want to know, Luna, it's only in 1080p. It's a closed beta. Uh, they're not even officially out yet. Uh, they're still in a early stages closed beta. Uh, sometime this year, they're going to announce the full release. 
uh, but they will be 4K in the future. Uh, that will happen. Uh, but when, I don't know. No, I never got the football manager. The reason I never got the football manager is because I'm afraid if I buy that game, you guys will never see me again. I'm going to get addicted to it, and then you won't see me streaming. You won't see me making any videos. Uh, so that's why uh, I, I'm staying away from that game. Andre. That's an addiction, man. I cannot get addicted to that. It's it's a bad, bad addiction, and I don't want to. I can't. This is the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy, you stick with me. Some games you have to stay away from. Uh, they're too addictive, man. You know, you, you know, you can't. World of Warcraft, same thing. I stay away from World of Warcraft. That, that shit is too addictive. Uh, you know, some stuff you have to stay away from. <laughs> Andre, Andre. Where are you, Andre? Andre! 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 And we go. I mean, fuck this show. Andre! Psst, psst, psst. Andre! Andre, where are you? Andre, he's down there. <laughs> oh, forget it. I'm not going there. I'm not jumping into that thing. You first. Ah, oh, fuck. Need a nice hero shot of me. No. Coming down the ladder. So, uh, you first. What do you see? What is it? Well, that's why I won't be uh, getting nowhere near the Xbox. Football Manager is no-no for me. Hello? Hi? Hello? Can I help you? Excuse me. Sir, excuse me. Oh, Jesus. Andre! Jesus. Jesus Christ. This is why Jesus will never come back. How many times do you have to call him? If I was a Jesus, I would say, forget it, man. I'm not coming back. You guys are too selfish, calling me all the freaking time. Can I just rest in peace? Can I just be, let me be in the heavens. Don't bother me. Why calling me all the time? I feel sorry for Jesus. Everybody's calling him. Just stop calling him already. Enough. He's busy. Let him, let him have his fun in the heavens. I'm, so, I'm sure somebody will get uh, offended by this joke. I'm pretty sure.
All right, which way do we go? Oh, yeah, we got to go here. I know where we got to go. We got to go down here. Oh, we can go down there. Okay. I really can't comment on the, the next generation consoles, whether they're being slow or fast, because I don't have them. You know, it's not fair for me to say anything about it, because I don't know. Um, you know. I like to try things out for myself. You know, I heard the rumors, people saying it's slow. Uh, you know, people say all kinds of shit for the clicks to make the to make the money on the on the videos. People do that shit all the time. Um, so I can't really comment uh, based on the rumors. You know, could it be it's not optimized? Yeah, it could be that the, the these games. Uh, are not optimized for the new gen consoles. The developers didn't have time to optimize them because of the COVID-19 situation last year. Um, who knows? But I like to have a console myself to find out if these rumors are true or not true. Uh, that's why I need the console to have it, to be able to say anything about it. Uh, I don't want to go blindly, it's just simply uh, rumors on the internet. People write all kinds of bullshit uh, for various different reasons. To start some kind of a shit, some kind of controversy, and controversy equals clicks, and they make their money safely deposited through their PayPal accounts. Okay, I know how this game's being played, so that's why I don't buy into that bullshit. I like to try it out myself and find out for myself if it's true, you know, because I heard different... Uh, I heard both sides of the stories. Some people say it's not true. Some people say it's true. Uh, but whom you fucking believe? I will only believe myself when I get the consoles, when I get both of them, and then I can test them. Spend months and months testing it throughout the spring and summer, and then I can tell you exactly, hey, here it is. Here's the results. This is what I have found out. You know? <clears throat> Wait a minute, did she say go through a closet or attic? Oh, attic. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's right here. Go through the attic. Yes, yes, yes. She did say that. Go up here. Go through the attic. Yep. Let me save the game. Head to the attic. Yes, yes, yes. How do I open this? Head through the attic. Is there like a button or something? Oh, there it is. Oh, I need a fuse. I need a fuse. That's right. Where do I find that fuse? Oh, there it is. Got it. Open it up. That's it. There it is. Got it. What the fuck? Dude, that's her. Whoa.
Well, I mean, my best, my best bet, it's uh, April. So um, I'm being realistic here. I don't think I'll be able to get it uh, till April. So I think April, everyone should be able to get one. Um, but who knows, depending on how bad. I don't think scalpers will be, uh, these bullshit artist scalpers will be buying it in April because majority of people will have it. And um, there won't be any reason for them to scalper uh, uh, this console and, and to to stack it up because majority of people will have, uh, a pretty good amount of people will have PlayStation 5 by the end of April. So you should be able to really walk inside a store and, and, and if you can walk inside a store and buy a PlayStation 5 by the end of April, then that's not good. That's pretty bad for Sony. I mean, I don't know if it's bad for Sony. It's bad for us. That really, maybe I'll just give up and not even buy a PlayStation 5 at that point. I'll say, fuck this shit, you know, fuck this console and kiss my ass. Um, you know, if that's the case. But I don't think that will be the case. I think by the end of April, you should be able to walk inside a damn store and you should be able to buy it, I think. But right now, it's really, right now, it's still on high demand. And uh, you got to know somebody or you got to have somebody to stand in line for you uh, at the GameStop. You got to know the manager at the Walmart or somebody to hold the console for you. You got to have a hookup. So right now, it's like, a, it's like living in the streets. Like you got to have a street credits, you know, like street creds. Who you know you know this guy this guy knows this guy this guy knows that pimp this pimp knows this other pimp it's kind of like living in projects it's like living in a fucking hoodlums you got to know a certain guy that has a hookup to hook you up to get you hooked up with something and it's really fucking bullshit that we have to go through this process you know but that's where we at right now you know you have to be hassling to get the fucking uh the console a piece of plastic with the uh, electronics in it it's fucked up, you know. So, um, I right now don't have any hookups. I don't have any connections for someone to be able to fucking get me that console. Uh, so I can't get it till April. Unless you guys want to send it to me. Please feel free. I will accept it. <laughs> but no fucking way that I'll be able to fucking walk in the store or to sit there in front of a computer to get that PlayStation 5. April, by the end of April, like I said, it's the best bet. It's the most realistic, the most realistic approach of me getting that console. And that's where, that's where we at. Unfortunately, that's where we at. All right, let me save the game again because I have the, uh, I have the, uh, what you call it? Um, I got the fuse. I need some space for the arcades. You know, I would love to buy an arcade machine, but I just need to have a space. I got too much stuff, man, in my two, uh, two bedrooms and a, and a living room. Uh, I would need to clear some stuff out. Um, I just don't have a space for the arcades, honestly. I would love to have them, but I gotta have a space for it. Maybe if I if I get a new house or something, and then I can you know uh, reserve one office space and do the streaming, and then have the arcades around or something. You know, kind of like Bill, what Bill has in his uh, in his office in his house. Bill from uh, Stadia Cast, you know, kind of like that. That would be like the only way I can do it. You know, but right now I don't have the space. It's not that I cannot, I can buy them. It's just I don't have a space. That's the problem. I would love to buy them, but I don't have a space. <clears throat> Twin Mirror. I heard some negative things about that game. I, heard, I mean, I know what that game is. I know which game you're talking about. But I heard a lot of negative, negative reviews about that game.
All right, let's put the fuse back in. Where is the fuse? It's this way. Shove it in. There we go. Here we go, sir. Let there be light. All right. So what now? Oh my god! You bitch! Jesus fucking Christ! Damn, Mia. You shouldn't have done that! It fucking hurts! Jesus Christ, Mia! Come on. Come on. Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, come on, Mia. Don't do it. No. Oh. Come on. I didn't sleep with Jennifer. I was fucking joking around. You have no proof I slept with her. How dare you? Jesus Christ. It's a good thing I don't have to stroke with the left. I got my right. Fuck, man. Uh, 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 save the game! <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> tomorrow I'm playing Cyberpunk. Oh my god. Hold on. Did I save it? Yeah, I did. Tomorrow's a Saturday. Tomorrow I'm playing a Cyberpunk. Hopefully I'll finish it tomorrow. No, I won't finish it tomorrow, man. Oh my god. Jeez. This is why I don't want to play this in VR. There's a good reason why I don't want to play this in VR. It's a fucking good reason. Woo! How long do I think Robocop and Terminator could survive if we're sent to destroy them? It would be difficult to survive with Robocop and Terminator. Uh, but I think Robocop would probably save you. Because uh, the difference between a Terminator and a Robocop is the spirit, the soul. You know, a lot of people didn't understand the message. What Paul Verhoeven was talking about about uh, Robocop and I'm gonna explain this to you for those of you I know we're playing a Resident Evil but I think you should know this uh, Paul Verhoeven film director of uh, Robocop on a Criterion's edition he said this multiple times he said it in the movie he said the whole idea behind Robocop was what if a person's spirit could survive and revived inside the machine if the human spirit can live inside a body organic body who's to say that it wouldn't be able to live inside a mechanical body right like that question of is it possible for a spirit to survive to be a host to a robotic mechanism is it that is that possible so i think murphy alex murphy would probably save you from a Terminator because he has a conscience. His conscience is still survived. He's conscious of who we are. He knows he died. And he knows who he, who he is right now. And he knows the difference between who he was before he got killed and who he is now with his 
robotic argumentation. Uh, and that was the message that, that uh, Paul Verhoeven, Dutch film director Paul Verhoeven, who was, was, he mentioned that on a commentary. I don't know if you guys, I have a feeling people don't listen to, uh, they don't register when they listen to these commentaries from film directors. Watch the commentary. Paul Verhoeven's Criterion's commentary, Director Scott. Director Scott, it's a brutal version of the movie because the Director Scott shows you brutality, how they brutally killed this guy, Alex Murphy. And you feel sorry for him how they brutally killed him. Um, and he talks about that. He talks about that through Criterion Edition on that DVD. I hope you guys will listen to the uh, to the commentary of Paul Verhoeven. Anyway, let's go. Um, so yeah, uh, Robocop would save you from a Terminator. Terminator has no conscience. Terminator has the program. He's programmed to, to kill you. He has a set of uh, programs. He's programmed to kill you and that's it. He will not stop Till he kills you, till he accomplishes his mission. Okay, and so there's a difference. There's a huge difference between Robocop and the Terminator. But that's a good point. But uh, I wouldn't put Robocop and Terminator in the same, um, you know, in the same pot, if you will. MUW. They're two different things. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go with the Resident Evil. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Hello, mannequin. Why are you wearing a panties? Like, what the fuck? You're not wearing a bra, but you're wearing a panty? What is that supposed to mean? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I'm in the attic. So what now? Ooh. Handgun ammo. Hopefully I'll find some uh, weapons. Do I have a knife? I don't have a knife. Shit, man. I'm so fucked. This walkthrough, it's, it's going nowhere. This walkthrough, it's fucked. Um, proper fucked. Oh, we gotta go up there. Oh, fuck me sideways. I'm not going up there. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Go, 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 go. Oh, come on, Mia. Give it a rest, will you? Fuck. No. Oh, come on. We don't have to do this. Mia, listen. Fuck. Where's the gun? Fuck, I need the gun. Where's my gun? Oh, I have no gun. I'm fucked. Oh, Jesus. No. Oh, there's the gun. Yes. Give me that gun. No. No, Mia. Oh! Mia, no, 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 no. No. Listen. Come on, Mia, let's not do this. Ah! 
Oh! No! Jesus. They're relying on me. Everyone oh, come on. This is... Everyone. Mia. This is bullshit. Welcome to the family. Oh, son. bullshit. Yeah. I hate these fucking things, man. Out of nowhere, man. The jump scares. Give me a fucking panic attack over here. <sighs> Come on. It's bullshit. Mia's still alive? Mia is still alive. Mia, you are alive. Resident Evil. Come on. Don't you die on us now? You have work to do. Is that Zoe? Was that Zoe? That was Zoe, dude. Don't die on us right now. You got work to do. That was Zoe, dude. Where? That was Zoe. What the hell? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's time for supper. That's funny. All right, Ryan. <laughs> Where's Mia? Edith, it. it's good. Dumb son bitch wasn't no good if it hit him. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's right, Papa. Tell him. Tell him, Papa. He was always bugging me. He was always the bully. He was the bully, not me. I'm hungry now. Give it, give it. Yum, yum. Come on. Yum, yum. Oh, come on, Mom. Don't be like that. I know, Daddy. You're right. <laughs> he just cut my tongue, did he? What did he do? What about Grandma? Grandma, you okay? Wake up, Grandma. Thanksgiving is ready. Come on, Grandma. Wake up, Grandma. Hold on. Dude, I forgot to turn the... Um Subtitles, dude. There we go. Grandma, wake up. Grandma. Wake up, Grandma. I'm right here. I'm right here. Shit. Do I have any weapons? Fuck, man. I'm fucked here. I'm proper fucked. 
Wait, there's something here. God damn it. I need something to open this. Come on, what is this? There's gotta be something here. Handgun ammo, that'll come in handy. I know, Grandma's like, I have no time for this bullshit. It's a nice little home theater set up here. You can, I don't know what you can fit in here. 55 inch? Maybe 48 inch? Uh, I would, I would cut this out right here. I would make it bigger. And I would take this away. All these, uh, you know, chairs and and cabinets and I will put speakers up here big giant floor speakers one here run right there and the center would be right here on the top uh, and then I would put the um, on the back I would put the uh, Dolby Atmos rear Dolby Atmos rear right here uh, subwoofer over here subwoofer over there subwoofer over here and subwoofer over there and then the uh, the rear floor speakers would be here and the left and another one right over here on the right uh, would be here as well next to the window and then here we could kick back sit back and watch the movie Gotta go to the garage. Fuck. Forget it. I gotta go back. I need a knife, dude. There has to be a knife around here. Where's the damn knife? Is the knife? Damn it. God damn roaches. No, it is actually Ryan. Um, what's her name? Uh, Zoe. That's that's really her father. Zoe. Zoe is uh, part of the family, for real. I don't know, but but see, that's why you have those DLCs to find out how they got fucked up, how they got possessed. They got possessed, and, and how do they get possessed? That's the question, you know? Remember the uh, Emeryville house? That house was uh, haunted and possessed. Actually, it's not that difficult to possess a person, believe it or not. Demon can easily possess you. Uh, usually they possess a person who is weak. If you are weak, they'll possess you. If you are strong, then they won't be able to fuck with you. Uh, that's what I have allegedly heard from the, the ghost hunters and paranormal guys. That's what I heard. Where's the knife? I need the goddamn knife.
Zoe is on the other side over there. I need a fucking knife, dude. What am I doing with the fucking shoes? I need a knife. Oh, Grandma, she left. What the fuck, Grandma? Oh, fine, I'll ring the fucking bell. So be it. I don't care. Fuck it. All right, old man, let's do this shit. I don't give a rat's ass anymore. Let's do it. Ah, the key. Hatch key. I got it. I got the hatch key, dude. Oh, mother! Slip out before dinner was done. Motherfucker! Oh, fuck me sideways. Don't go anywhere. Oh, come on, dude. Get up, get up. Run. Daddy's angry. No, don't come here. Come on, come on. Let's go. Get in there, get in there. <sighs> oh, Grandma's definitely possessed. I think she's uh, possessed, but in a smart way. Thank God. <laughs> Got the house map. Uh, let's save the game, dude. It's, it's rule number one. Save the game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How about a handgun? How about a handgun? Alright, let's save the game one more time. Zoe! Hello, Zoe! Zoe's not answering. How dare you, Zoe? I was always there for you, Zoe. I always loved you, Zoe! <laughs> Mike, this is why I cannot play this in VR. Like, no, no bueno. No bueno. Cannot do it.
Oh, well, that'll do it. Screwdriver. That's what I need. Let's save the game again. Listen, the one thing I learned about Resident Evil and Metal Gear, especially Resident Evil since 1997. Since 1997, I learned about Resident Evil that you have to always save the game. Always save the fucking game. Get the memory card ready. Save the game. All right, let's go. Ah, oh, fuck the phone. Zoe? You did good, Ethan. Zoe, right. What the fuck are you? Shut up and listen if you want to stay alive. You gotta get out of that house. There might be a way out through the main hall. All right. Oh, and that thing on your wrist is a codex. Don't lose it. It's important. Hell of a girl. All right, Zoe. I'm gonna divorce Mia. I'm already filing a divorce papers for Mia. We can stay friends if she wants to. You know, she can visit me once in a while. But it's going to be me and Zoe from now on. Hold on. Alright, where is that place? Yeah, yep, right here. Oh, that's a lock pick. Damn it. I need a knife. Goddamn knife, dude. Why it's so difficult for a man to find a knife? Why it's so difficult? is this is that Zoe dude that's Zoe fucked up brother this is before they got possessed but holy shit, he was possessed even before he fucking became possessed. Holy fuck. Look at him. He was possessed even before he was possessed. Holy shit. How is this? If 
Fuck me sideways. Where is the knife? Go to the main hole. The fucking main hole. I need a key for the main hole. I think the... What's his name has it? Jack and Margarites. What the hell is this? That's Zoe. But it doesn't say Zoe, does it? But I know it's Zoe. The child that 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 understood. The family it's fucked up. He woke up and realized, hey, you know, I got a fucked up family. I have to get the fuck out of here. Um, go to the window by the door. Mia attacked you at. Ah! Oh! Open up! Hey! Oh, it's a police officer. Hey, you gotta help me. Hold on, back up. Now, sir, do you live here? I mean, is this your property? What? Me? No. No. All right. Now, we got several calls about some missing persons lately. You don't understand. I gotta get out of here. Now, calm down. You're not listening to me. There are crazy people in this house trying to fucking kill me. <laughs> well, all right. Let me tell you this. You don't exactly seem like you're playing with a full deck yourself, all right? Are you kidding me? Look, like I said, we've had several missing persons calls. And I can't rule out that an outsider like yourself may not be involved. All right. I'll tell you whatever you want. All right. Now, that's more like it. Now, meet me in the garage. We'll talk there. Hey, wait. You got to give me your gun. <laughs> you must have lost your mind. Look, officer. Deputy. Right. Deputy. Now, do you want to see my name in the obituaries? But you want to be a hero and save my life. A fucking pocket knife? Here. Take it. That's all you're gonna get. Now go. Garage. Now. Well, pocket knife is better than nothing. Right? What am I gonna do with a knife? Don't worry, dude. It's all good. Pocket knife can do a lot of things with a pocket knife. Like this. Come on, man. You should be glad he gave you that pocket knife. Hey, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Now, first, you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. Me? What about you? No, it's my job. You do your job and tell me. Answer my questions. You're not gonna believe me if I told you. Try me. Hey, put that door back. Put Wait. that door back. Put Wait. That door back. Wait. Oh, fucking. Get in. Get in. Get in. Fuck it. I'm gonna kill this. Let's go. Come on. No. Finish this, you and I. Oh, yeah. 
I'm gonna take you for a ride. No, 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 no! 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 Where's the handgun? There it is. Okay. Oh boy. Attention, boy. You're about to see someone. Oh. Fuck! Where's that police officer? What the hell did he do with him? That's why I cannot play this in VR. That's why. And then people say, would you like to play Village in VR? I'll have to grow bigger testicles for the Village Resident Evil in VR. <laughs> but if you guys want me to do it, I'll do the village in VR if, if you guys want to want me to to see my expressions to put me through that hell I'll do it okay I got the statue I need some more stuff this is this like a shortcut oh that's cool it's like a shortcut Save the game, dude. Always save the game. It's the one thing I learn. Save the game. All right, then it is. Resident Evil Village in VR. Holy fuck. Oh, boy. Oh, brother.
Oh my god, I remember this shit. The shotgun shit. Oh, that's tricky. That shit is so tricky. Daddy give you a hard time. That's your father? He used to be. I'm sorry, but he, he he's a he's dead now. <laughs> you just might be able to pull this off. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be in touch. This projector, I remember this, but I don't have anything right now to to place it on. There's a grandma. She's right here. Grandma! There's another cassette. Mia. Let me put it on the VCR. Let's go check it out. What's up, Alkazam? Happy 21. Yeah, man, VR. Listen, if you think Resident Evil 7 was scary in VR, imagine what Resident Evil 8's gonna do in VR, dude. It's gonna be just brutal.
I am sick and tired. Oh, sick and tired of your bullshit. I need to hide. I need to hide. Why? I couldn't see. What have I done to deserve this except open my home and feed you? Oh my god. Holy shit. I guess this is the best place to hide. I can't believe, you know, this game was released in 2017, and here we are, 2021, and it still looks great. Even on Amazon Luna, it still looks great. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. Oh my god. Jesus. Open that door. I'll feed you to my babies and fertilize the garden with what was left. I can't believe I made it this far. Holy shit. up can I go through here Hold on. Oh, here we go. The spider. I think I know how to do this. Hold on. It has to be a spider. And this part right here has to fit here. Hold on. Right?
I'll figure this out. <clears throat> I'm gonna figure this out. So, <sighs> it has to be this way, like this. Ah, there it is. I got it. Is this it? Man, I was so close. Come on, come on. Ah. Ah. And now I have to rotate it like this. Damn it. There we go. I opened it up. So what did I open? That's the question. I opened something for sure. Ah, there we go. We got this, man. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Jeez, it's already six o'clock. She loves you. She wants us to be a family, goddammit. I gotcha! No! Oh, damn it. She loves you. She wants us to be a family, god damn it. You, you, all you have to do is accept her fucking gift. Zoe's gift. Oh no, the the possess the 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 whatever that the evil entity. We love you. Why can't you see that? <sighs> Jump. No, 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 no. You don't fucking try to take your share of the blame. There's no way out of there, Missy. Jesus, like a Karen. This is a Karen. There's Zoe. This is a... 
Karen. That's what this is. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, this is just uh what did they just a Starbucks. Cheers. Cheers. It's a cappuccino. Cappuccino frappuccino. Ah, come on, eh? At least I know what I gotta do. <clears throat> Hold on. What is this? I don't know how to shoot the shit. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Get that knife. Shotgun shells. All right. That'll do it. Oh, Christ. Wooden statue, I need that. Yep, I need that. For the spider. Let me get a little bit off. Yeah, that Glock is... Uh, the Glock in that pocket knife, dude. That's all I need for now. What can you do, right? It is what it is. Heck of a thing, man. This sure shit beats the hell out of dying. My little girl has given us a gift. And this gift is with me always. As you can see, the family is only part of her gift. Which, in a word, means. You're fucked! 
Cut it out. Oh shit, he's coming back. <sighs> Come on, man. God damn it. Oh, come on. Motherfucker. Oh, now I'm screwed. Come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up. I did grow a pair, old man. Screw you. It's gotta be a bird. A bird. Something that looks like a bird. Here we go. I need ammo. Ammo up them. Let me see. Oh, 
All right. that yuck yuck yes 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 oh boy got my this looks like a Walter PPQ 9 mil the only thing I don't like about Walter PPQ it's right next to the trigger for you to uh, empty the magazine to change the magazine to release the magazine I wish that it was on the side, but it's right next to the trigger on a Walter PPQ, um, which is a German weapon, Ger German firearm. Um, it's all right. Take the uh, pills. Wait a minute. I saw something here. Hold up. I saw something. What the hell is that? Shit. Oh, perfect. Handgun ammo. I shouldn't have taken these pills. Jesus. It's a bad idea. No, 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 no. I don't want to go there. Go back, go back. Come on, go back, dude. We got to go through here. What is this? There we go. this shit
Oh, I don't want to go down there. Jesus. Can, let me save the game first. Woo! Save the game. That's the rule number one when it comes to Resident Evil. Save the game. Perfect. Save the game again. So how about Amazon Luna, huh? Not bad. Seems to be running good. Especially that it's in uh, closed beta. You know, people got to remember something about Amazon Luna. Uh, it's not officially released. Uh, it's still in a closed beta. Okay. Uh, and it's only selective individuals who can play it. Uh, they're taking it slow but I like what they're doing so far uh, I haven't found any hiccups I haven't found any issues uh, and that's a good news that, that's a good start no I already shot him he's down um, on oh shit oh come on dude oh come on man I brought you a Corona beer, dude. Come on. Oh, he's a Heineken. Oh, fuck it. Oh, boy. Oh, the hell with this shit. Take that. Take that. Take that. The hell with that. You can forget me about that. Some kind of a morgue? What is this? What the hell is this? Scorpion key. Scorpion key. Okay. Hell is this herb? <laughs> Scorpion key. Oh, he doesn't fit this lock. Oh, fuck. Uh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, 
Oh, come on, man. Come on, dude. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, no. Scorpion key, right? Yeah. Oh, he doesn't fit. Oh, that's just wonderful. Hello, guys. Oh, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Oh. Hey, listen, we can talk about this. We can negotiate, listen. Shit. Hold on. Alright, bastard, let's go. Screw you. Oh no, 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 no. What is this? Oh, come on, man. It doesn't have to be like this. Listen. It doesn't have to be like this. this I don't need a gunpowder I'm good for now Shit. Well, it has a higher frame rate, uh, and it looks 60 FPS to me. Uh, there's two options: there's visuals and there's 60 FPS. Uh, it looks like a 60 FPS to me. I I know the difference between 30 and 60. Uh, so yeah, it does 60 FPS, 
but it's a 1080p 60 fps you know it's a uh, not 4k so it's not a big deal they can do 60 fps and 1080p so yeah uh cyberpunk does and you can look at my live stream it's uh 15 hours from yesterday uh knock yourself out you got 15 hours to watch and you tell me even the youtube recognize it as a 1080p 60 so there's your answer Now this is tricky. It's tricky here. Let me see. Let me try this. There we go. Now I gotta fight this guy. Good lord. fucking bullets hold on wait wait oh fuck no hold on no 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 damn it man I need ammo cannot fight you like this Shit, we gotta start from the beginning. Got him. Why would that suck? I mean... I would rather have a 60 FPS than some lousy 30 FPS on a 4K on a PC. Even your PC cannot do 60 FPS. Um, but anyway, dude, you make no sense. Seriously. What's your name, Clouts? I don't like you, dude. I'm going to get you out of here. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Go play with your little peepee. -pee. Let the big boys play with the big boys. 
the fuck out of here, man. Your stupidity. There's always one. Always the one fucking uh, wackily doodle. One asshole always has to be there. One prick. One Karen of cloud gaming. Dude, you're dumb. You make no sense. I'm pretty sure your friends will tell you, if you have any, that you're dumb, you're stupid. You make no fucking sense. That sucks. How about somebody shoves a dildo in your ass? I think that's great. I don't think that sucks. 60 frames per second up in your ass. How's that? Fuck out of here, man. Guys, don't type stupidity. Like, why you want to get yourself blocked? Like, I don't care you come with your fake accounts, but you're going to get blocked regardless. You're going to use all your fake emails to come here, and you're going to be blocked. You're going to be forced to watch. You know I'm not going to unblock your ass. If you got nothing uh, intelligent to say, don't say anything. Because you're not funny. You, you are stupid. You are like retard. You look like a retard. You sound like a retard. Don't type, don't type stupidity. If you don't like Google Stadia, then shut the fuck up and stay in your corner. And that's it. Don't come here. Don't write stupidities. Stupid fucking shit. Because I can put this in a member chat. And then you're going to have to pay to become a member. I can easily do that. So please, guys, don't type stupidities. Don't be, don't be an asshole. And don't insult my intelligence coming here with your stupidity. You can insult that, intel that, that intelligence to your mother and your father and your, and your cousin and your brother and your family, but not here. To me, you're going to get blocked. So the last fucking time I say this, don't write stupid shit. If you do, we go to the member chat. End of story. I don't have time for you to read your crap here. Not my fault your mother dropped you in your head when you were a little kid. That's your mama's fault. She should have held you better when she dropped you in your head. Okay? Now I'm roasting you for being stupid, asshole. And everybody's laughing now, laughing their ass off. That shows you're dumb. We're laughing at you. We're not laughing because you're funny. We're laughing at you because you're retarded. That's why. So please, write some stupidity some more. Be my guest. Even this game, it's 60 FPS. Even this one, 60 FPS. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't have spent that $550 on that console. Yeah. Maybe you should have saved some of that fucking money. Look at this. I, I, I know how much I pay for this. Five bucks a month to play all these games on the cloud. Look at this. 60 FPS. 60 FPS. Let me go uh, and take a shortcut this way. I know there's something here. I know there's an extra ammo or something. Yeah, there it is. Shit, shit, shit. I hate this.
Oh no! Got him. That's how it's done, boy. Majority of people play in 1080p 60. That's right, Ryan. I mean, even, you know, Linus Tech Tip was right. I agree with Linus. I agree with uh, Jay-Z Two Cents. You know, it's interesting that this retard has brought this up for being stupid. Um, because Jay-Z Two Cents and even Linus, they both agree. Majority of people, PC gamers, are playing in 1440p 60 or 1080p 60 with a 240 hertz refresh rate. They're all playing with 60 FPS or higher, maybe 80 FPS or higher at 120 hertz or 144 hertz or 244 hertz. No one is playing at 4K, 4K 60, 244 hertz that I know of. Majority are playing in 1080p or 1440p. Now, granted, there's these hardcore PC elitists. They can spend 10 grand on a PC. They can build a high-end PC. I'm not talking about super rich. Don't don't talk to me about super rich, the elite. They got more money than God. I don't care about them. I'm talking about regular Joes and regular Marys. They're all playing in uh, Alienware with the G-Sync, 144 hertz. 244 hertz, 1080p, 1440p. No one's rocking 4K60 that I know of every day. But yet you got this asshole. Uh, for a cloud gaming, 1080p60, it's pretty freaking good. You retard. It's pretty fucking good. But since you got dropped on your head, how would you know that? You should have stayed attached to the umbilical cord. That's what you should have done. You should have climbed up to the umbilical cord because you got dropped on your head. So don't don't be a stupid idiot. I have zero tolerance for stupidity. Don't be an idiot. If you got nothing smart to say, don't say anything. Just keep your mouth shut. Because nobody gives a shit. And nobody will ever give a shit. But I'm more than happy to expose your ass. And everyone's happy here to see how stupid you are. Ooh, that sucks, man. 1080p 60 sucks. Yeah, what are you running on your PlayStation 4 Pro? What are you running on your Xbox One uh, X? Even on a PC, barely I get 60. I get lousy 38 frames per second. Maybe, maybe 38. With low settings and everything turned off. Maybe 38. Come on, man. Like, shut your fucking mouth. Dumb motherfuckers, man. <sighs> uh oh, something behind me. People don't even understand what kind of data it takes to sync this in, to have low latency at 60 FPS. That's a pretty big achievement for cloud gaming. That's a pretty huge achievement. And then they're adding the HDR metadata on top of that. But if you had any brains, if you had any education to educate yourself instead of watching the Pornhub all day fucking long, if you educate yourself and learn about technology, maybe you would know not to say some stupid shit. Oh, 1080p 60 sucks. <laughs> what do you have? Exactly. Nothing. We all know you got nothing. You got a jailbreak phone, bought it from your homies, 
got a cracked screen on there, that's what you've got. And pull up your pants up, will you? Already, motherfucker. It's 2021. Yeah, I'm gonna roast your ass every day till Sunday for saying stupid shit like that. Please, guys, don't write stupid shit. I don't have time for that crap. So be quiet if you got nothing smart to say. And just watch. Let's leave it at that. Don't have time for stupidity. I don't give a rat's ass about your opinion. Because right now your opinion, it's so retarded that I cannot digest it. And you need to be exposed for being retarded with this stupid shit like that. If you don't like what I have to say, then get the fuck out. Go. Leave. No one's forcing you here. But if you're gonna come to my channel and say some stupid shit like that, say stupid shit like that, you're gonna earn some stupid rewards. And those rewards will be given to you. Like I'm giving it to you right now. So don't say anything stupid. Dumb fucks, man. Anyway, moving on. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, we stayed up till uh, 4 o'clock, man. 15 hours. Yesterday, 4 a.m. We stayed up till 4 a.m., man. 15 hours. Um... Marvin Diesel, uh, he stayed here till uh, 4 o'clock in the morning. Desperado was here till 3. Uh, Mr. Urban, Mr. Urban was here till uh, 1 o'clock. And uh, who else we had? Mamba left early, right? Mamba, you left early. Oh, I can play on my 2060 Super. I can play this with everything maxed out 60 FPS, uh, Ryan. But that's not the point. The point is for a cloud gaming 1080p 60 at 15 megabits per second, it's pretty good. Uh, that's the whole point here, you know. And I think that's the point some people are missing out. They don't understand how demanding the cloud is to have a low latency to achieve that low latency, to give you that 1080p 60, upscaled to 4K, um, that's the whole point here. Of course I can play this on my kick-ass PC that I have and crank everything up and do a 1080. I can do a 1080p 80 frames per second and go super smooth. Uh, that's not the point. The point you guys are missing out. The cloud technology has really come a long way that it's able to achieve something like this, okay? That's the point I'm trying to make here. Especially for Amazon Luna to be able to achieve this in early stages. That's the whole point here. That people are missing out. You know? And this is coming from a guy who has PC, who has Nintendo Switch, who has freaking everything. And I can give a credit where the credit is due. I don't have to defend some... I'm not a fan... See, that's the difference between me and you guys. Some of you guys are fanboys and you're defending your brand no matter what. I don't do that. I don't hold anybody's flag. I don't, blow, I don't belong to any freaking club. Some of you guys belong to the club. I know. You don't have to admit it, but I know. Belong to the club. You got to defend your brand or whatever the fuck is that you defend. I don't have to do that. I've proven I don't defend. But I'll give the credit where the credit is due, and I'll give defense where it needs to be defended. And I'll criticize where it needs to be criticized. That's called being unbiased. That's called being fair. But some of you guys, you constantly have to defend your shit. 
PlayStation 5, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Xbox... Who gives a shit? Enough. Why can't you appreciate every aspect of technology? Why can't you be fair to every aspect of technology? Why you just have to ride that one horse? Why you have to ride that one horse? Keep riding the one horse, that pony, or whatever, the, or their x bot donkey. Why can't you just appreciate every aspect of technology that's available? That's the problem. We, this is the, the issue I have with the fanboys. And that's why I can't, I can't associate with you guys who are fanboys. I just can't. I can't talk to you. I can't associate with you. It's like talking to an extraterrestrial, like some kind of alien creature. That's how I feel about you guys. It's like talking to an alien goddamn creature from a different universe. I don't get you. I don't understand you. Capish? I don't get who you are. That shit pisses me off. Why can somebody say, even if you are a hardcore Sony fan and you love PlayStation, but I could say, yeah, you know what, man? I love my Sony. I love my PlayStation, but this is actually pretty neat. That you can get 60 FPS, just click and play right away, boom. Don't have to wait for anything, don't need a storage space. As long as you got a stable internet, no data caps, hey, for five bucks a month, I don't know. It's not bad. No, but it sucks, bro. You don't own the game, bro. You don't own it. No, man, you have to pay for the internet, man. Well, you are paying for the internet anyway. You're paying for the freaking cell phone anyway. You think it's free? They give it that shit to you for free? No, 1080p60 sucks, bro. <laughs> Come on, guys. Like, what the fuck? It's 2021. We're still doing this circle jerk. We're still struggling each other in 2021. All After all these years, you think people would grow out of this crap. I can't be nice about this. It's irritating. It's irritating as fuck. It's like that itch I can't fucking scratch. Grow the fuck up. What the fuck, man? Nobody can appreciate anything these days. No one plays the video games anymore. Everybody's just holding their flags. Holding their tribal flags. Waving their tribal flags. You know? Does anybody ever plays video games? I know I do. Well, look what I'm doing right now. But does anybody ever play anything anymore? Everybody's just waving the flag. PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, PC Master Race. Come on, man. Enough already with this shit. This shit's never gonna end. Never. I don't think I'll see in my lifetime all this bullshit about fanboyism, this cancer. Anyway. I get easily triggered when people type stupid shit. Don't write me stupid shit on my channel. I won't get easily triggered. If you type stupid shit, that means you come here to do just that. To write stupid shit. To get some kind of attention. But actually what you're doing is you're making yourself look like an idiot. You're making yourself look like a village idiot. Is what you do. And then I'm going to expose you. Why? Because you're on my channel. That's why. I have rules here. Fanboys are not welcomed. Period. That's my rule. Maybe I should write that on my YouTube channel. Fanboys are not welcomed here. Stroke that dick somewhere else. Don't stroke it here. Go to the fanboy club and stroke it there. But not here. I reserve the right. This is my channel. I reserve the right. Not to listen to the stupid shit. Capish? You got me? Good. And happy new year to you too. But I hope you get this message. And I'm only going to repeat it once, not twice. All right, you guys want to play this game? Okay, fine. You guys want to do this? Okay.
All right, here we go. You ask for this, you got it. You are in my channel. Remember, you're in my world. You open your own channel. You make your own goddamn rules. But you're going to be in my channel. This is my rules. My world. I reserve the rights. Period. Even Google knows that. I reserve the rights. Period. It's my channel. So now, sit there and watch. Or you can join. You can pay $2 and you can join. And I'll tell you what. Pay $2, become a member, and then say whatever you want to say. You can say 1080p 60 sucks. You can say that your PlayStation 5 is the best. Then say whatever the hell you want to say. But you're going to have to pay now to say that. And let's see how many of you are going to pay to come in. I, I swear to you, I'm not going to block you. If you become a member, you can sing songs about the PlayStation and the Xbox and your PC. You can make songs, write the songs in, in the chat room. But it's going to have to be a member chat. So there you go. Let's see how many of you will do it. I'll tell you what. Zero. Zero. <laughs> there you go. No one's going to join. Because they want to do it for free. They're freeloaders. That's what they are. They want shit for free. And they're going to do it. They, don't have, they can't spend $2. It's too much for them. I'm enjoying this, you know that. I'm, I'm having a great time. You guys are not having a great time. Because you're being stupid. Me? I'm having a great time. I'm enjoying this. So let's see. Who's going to who's gonna become a member? I'm just saying. Let's see. Hold on, before I do that, I need some ammo, man. Oh, thank God. Hold on. All right, 20 bullets has been more than enough. Whew. Hold on. Maybe I can defeat this uh, monster now that I have 20 bullets here. I can easily do it. All right. Wish me luck here. Here we go. I think it's this one. This one, William. And think this one no it's not it's not is this one <laughs> Laura Laura William and Tamara Tamara so William Laura and Tamara here we go let's do it Fuck, hold on. So it's not William, so it's Tamara and this one. Okay, we got it. Oh Lord. Get ready for this. Woo! 
Got it. Got the key. Oh, Lord. Oh God, no. Oh, come on. Use it, let's go. In, in. Oh my God. Oh my God. Finally made it. The hell is this? Red dog's head? I was gonna be your father. Now she says he'll be her father. No, 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 no. I will find him and I will make him suffer. Ah, perfect. What's going on? What's happening? I thought you guys were high rollers, man. All this talk, all this bullshit talk. Can't do a $2? All right. Good. I guess I proved my point. I don't have to listen to your bullshit on my channel. I reserve that right. Just like when you create your own channel, you reserve the right to kick me out. Okay? If you got nothing smart to say, then don't say it. I don't care about your opinion because it's my channel. Your opinion is retarded. And I'm not going to listen to it. If you don't like cloud gaming, don't say anything. Keep your mouth shut. But I'm not going to sit here, listen to you, talk some shit. 1080p 60 sucks. 1080p 60, 60. What would you rather do? What would you rather do? 4K 27 frames per second? Go knock yourself out. Go spend $3,000 on the 4K 27 frames per second. The games are really not that optimized to run on 4K. But maybe if you use some brains... If you did some research instead of being on that Pornhub, maybe you would understand. Even to this day, it's difficult for the developers to optimize games to run at 4K60. Especially very demanding graphical engines. That's why I get triggered. Because of stupidity. 2021. People still talking shit. It's my channel. My rules. I don't care if you like it. Kiss my ass. Simple as that. I worked my ass off on this channel for seven and a half years. These are my rules. It's that simple. My club. That's why YouTube gives me these tools. So I can choose what I want to do. Who comes in, who comes out, who can join, who cannot join. That's why I have these tools. Yes, I'm using their platform. And I have to be respectful to a certain degree. But. They gave me these tools so I can reserve my rights not to put up with some stupidity being written down. Some stupid nonsense. If you don't like cloud gaming, then don't come here. Don't watch this stream. No one's forcing you to watch this stream. Come back to me when I'm streaming.
PlayStation 5. Come back to me when I'm streaming Xbox Series X. But don't come back to me when I'm streaming cloud. Clearly says Amazon Luna. And you know it's Amazon Luna. And you know the Amazon Luna can only do 1080p 60. At the moment. Don't insult my intelligence. That shit doesn't work with me. You insult your family's intelligence, not mine. Don't come here insulting my intelligence. I reserve the right not to have you insult my intelligence with your stupidity. Let's move on. You play stupid games, you will earn stupid rewards. That's the way it is in my channel. again not this shit again you know maybe I should save the game dude you know what man I'm gonna do that man let me save the game so I don't have to go through this process all over again it's a good idea actually <clears throat> all right Daryl welcome to the silver man all right, Daryl, you can say whatever you want to say, bro. Come in. Thank you for joining. All right, Daryl proved. He proved. He proved that he's not a freeloader. He proved that, hey, he can join and he can now say whatever he wants to say. And he's welcome to say whatever he wants to say. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Daryl. Appreciate it. Thank you. This is how you know who is who this is how you know somebody who appreciates what I do somebody who understands what I do here even if he doesn't understand he's still paid to be here so he can say he can tell me to F off that's fine but he paid thank you Daryl appreciate that thanks man yeah this is a test uh, you know talk to talk why don't you walk to walk I mean there you go. Daryl just proved that he's not a a freeloader. Thank you uh, and uh, happy 2021, man. Appreciate that. I honestly love member chat, uh, member chat better. Honestly, uh, to me, member chat it's always more uh, enjoyable. Instead of just random people coming in and, and typing their nonsense, that's what happens when you open the gate uh, for any jackass to walk in and type stupidity. Because it's free. So yeah, they're going to type it because it's free. Now they're not going to type it because it's not free. Thank you, Daryl. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, brother. And well, yeah. And now you get to get the intention, my attention. So now you're getting the attention, my attention, out of everybody else. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Daryl. Uh, that's awesome. I like this. I love it. I think Mamba told me a long time ago. Mamba said, 
hey, Mr. 4K man, why do you want to deal with all this crap? Uh, you know, let any kind of jackass walk in and say whatever they want to say. Um, just do a member chat, man. They're doing it on Twitch. Other people's are doing it. Why should I be any different? Why should I let people run me over like an 18-wheeler? Uh, why should I let people mistake in my kindness for weakness? How many people do you know doing a 15-hour live stream? I did it for you guys yesterday. How many people you know doing 12 hours a day uh, for 12 days? 12 hours for 12 days doing The Last of Us Part 2 live stream. How many of them do you know? How many of them do you know that they did that actually? How many? I don't know. You let me know. <clears throat> yeah, these are the facts. Whether you like it or not, these are the facts. I can back it up because I have credibility. There's a difference. I can talk to talk and walk to walk at the same time. There's a difference. Thank you. Thank you, Daryl. Well, enjoy it, man. It's cheers. Me and you, bro. Me and you. Cheers. Well, I'm also going to promote you, Daryl. Not only... You've been here since 2015. It's time for a promotion. When somebody has been watching me since 2015 and they just became a member, it's time for a promotion. And I need to promote this person. So nobody can screw with him. Nobody can mess with him. Guess what? Brother, cheers. You deputized. You, got, got, you just got promoted. Now you're the moderator. Boom. You see? You see what happens? You see what happens when you earn something and you're not being a jerk and you earn it righteously? This is what happens. Learn. Watch and learn. Maybe this will be a good learning experience for some of you guys out there. Or maybe not. I don't know. <clears throat> no, you're good, man. You've been watching me since 2015. Hey, man, that's four years, five years. That's... How could I not appreciate that? Of course I appreciate that. Of course I do. Uh, and I'm giving you that badge, that uh, wrench. You can use it if you want to. You don't have to. Uh, but I'm giving it to you so that way you don't have to worry about somebody blocking you. You don't have to worry about somebody removing you. Uh, even if you cancel your membership with me, you're still going to be moderator. You're still going to have that. You're still going to be able to enter my member chat. That's me giving thanks to you in another ways. I'm giving you a thanks. Me appreciating you. There you go. You see? All right, let's go. Let me save the game. It's rule number one. There it is. Now that I saved the game, I don't have to worry about um, going back and forth, back and forth. Jesus, already 7.20, 7.30 p.m.? What the hell, man? Today's just going, flying by today. Oh, shit. Full time, thank you. Thank you for becoming uh, Silver. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. You can say anything you want to say uh, here. No one's going to block you, man. Uh, you feel free to say anything. Thank you. Thank you for becoming a Silver. Appreciate that. And uh, happy 2021. So we got the key, right? 
Now we should be able to enter. I think. I think. We still got to go down there. Um, you have to fight the old man. Got the handgun ammo. Chem fluid. Uh, what else we got? Hold on. Take some of this. Here we go. Use it. Thank you, Spool Time. I appreciate you being here, man. Um, this is... Uh, Luna, Amazon Luna. It's Amazon Luna, and um, really, uh, it's impressive that they can do 1080p, 60, uh, with a ver like a very good latency, like 22, 23 milliseconds. It's not bad, not bad at all, dude. Um, and you can use a mouse, mouse and keyboard. Obviously, mouse and keyboard, you can go faster, but it's very impressive. Uh, that they can do that, you know. That's my whole point here. People ask me, why are you giving credit to Cloud? Like, why are you giving credit to Stadia on a Cyberpunk? Why are you giving credit to Luna? Because they deserve the credit. Because I understand how difficult it is to run these games at 1080p 60 with a low latency at the 16 megabit per second. You know, even with the uh, H.265 codec, it's still difficult to keep that latency. And I appreciate that. I mean, why wouldn't I give a credit where the credit, you know? That's all I'm saying. And I'm using a Wi-Fi. Dude, this is not even Ethernet cable. I'm using a Wi-Fi, 5, 5 gigahertz. You know, Wi Fi, 5 gigahertz, that should account for something. You know, and then people say, why do you get triggered? Why do you get triggered, Mr. 4K? Oh, God. Scorpion key. I know I have it. I know I have the scorpion key here. Just need to find it.
Let me save the game. Play it smart. I mean, it is awesome. I mean, I can use mouse and keyboard right now. Look at this. 60 FPS. Um, look at that. And I'm using a Wi-Fi. I'm not even on an Ethernet cable. I don't need to roll down some Ethernet cable. They're able to do this through H.265 codec because H.265 codec uses less megabits to achieve this uh, lower latency and a steady bit rate. You know? Why wouldn't I give a credit where credit is due? I'll give a criticism when the criticism is due and I'll give the credit when the credit is due. That's called being unbiased and that's called being fair. But for some people, they can fathom that because they want you to join the tribe. They want you to join the club. Hold the jersey for me. You know, hold the blue jersey, hold the green jersey, hold the yellow jersey for the PC gamer. I don't, I don't want to hold anyone's jerseys. And if you come to my channel expecting me to hold a jersey for you, then that's not me. I know there's a lot of people who do that, and they make, they make their money that way by exploiting being a fanboy. If that's, your, that's what you're looking for, there's plenty of YouTubers who do that kind of stuff and hold the flags, waving their flags. There's plenty of tribals you can join, but I don't do that. That's not me. It's just not me. Um, but there's still sacrifice with, with a 4K 120 hertz. There's still sacrifice uh, using that 4K 120 hertz. Because uh, it's not really a true 4K. Uh, it's like a dynamic resolution. Uh, you're not really hitting that true 4K. Uh, but you do have that 120 hertz, you know, and the HDR. So it's a bit of a sacrifice. Even on a C10 OLED, uh, I want people to understand, you're not going to be playing native 4K 120 hertz. That's not going to happen. Uh, at best, maybe you're getting, I don't know, uh, 1600p uh scaled to 4k and then you get that 120 hertz uh they're using a different type of dynamic resolution to achieve that no actually i need to buy that controller uh the luna controller i'm using my xbox controller but uh i need to get the luna controller because uh luna controller gets connected directly to their wi-fi and some people says you can get 13 milliseconds 13 milliseconds respond time using their uh, Wi-Fi controller. So uh, I'm going to have to get it. I'm going to have to get it. Uh, probably maybe this week uh, I'll get one or maybe next week. But I'll definitely get it for sure. <clears throat> Alright, let's save the game. Before we embark into this nonsense yeah it's checkerboarding because you know it's really difficult even for PlayStation 5 to achieve that native 4k 120 Hertz even Mark Cerny will tell you yeah we're not there yet um, that console would not be and another thing that I gotta say about the PlayStation 5 you see Sony and Microsoft should be uh, held responsible for misleading people. Nobody wants to say it. Well, what do you mean they're misleading? Like when you go to the store, like let's say it's available, PlayStation 5. Or when you get your PlayStation 5 and they send it to you. And then you open your PlayStation 5 uh, out of the box. You get it and you see the PlayStation 5 box. It says 8K, the big gold acrement, 8K, and then a little 4K HDR. First of all, that's misleading. That console, it's not an 8K console. You can't even switch to 8K. Richard from Digital Foundry couldn't even switch to 8K. 
So it's not an 8K machine that's misleading. And Sony is responsible for misleading people on that gimmick BS. Same thing with the Microsoft gimmick BS. 4K 120 hertz, it's not gimmick, but it's not native 4K 120 hertz. It's a checkerboard dynamic resolution. At best, 1600p or 1400p. Um, so there's a lot of gimmick gimmickry going on out there, but don't expect the Sony fanboys, don't expect, don't expect the Xbox fanboys to uh, explain this to you. They don't expect Sony to give you some legitimate reason to explain why there's a big 8K on, a, on, on the box. You're not going to be rocking 8K on a $500 console. It's not happening, cousin. That's called reality. Excuse me, that's called a fact. It's not happening. So there's a lot of BS, but you see, no one wants to do that. And this is the reason why Sony will never give me the console. Because I'm unbiased. And they don't want me saying something like, oh, how dare Sony say this, 8K. This console doesn't do 8K. You can't even switch to 8K resolution. You know, that's what you should do to be unbiased, to be fair. You know, and everyone knows this. Everybody knows that these new generation consoles cannot do 8K. That's why they're going to create PlayStation 5 Pro with a dual GPU. Because you're going to need a dual GPU to checkerboard 33 million pixels. Listen to me. Just to checkerboard 33 million pixels. Do you understand the kind of horsepower it takes to checkerboard even 33 million pixels? You would know that if you did some scientific, scientific research some technical research if you did some research and understood how this works Jay-Z Jay Two Cents talks about this Linus Tech Tips I'm on board with Jay-Z I'm on board with Linus they're right people are giving shit to Jay-Z and to Linus but they're right they're correct they are correct same thing with um the other guy, what's his name? Um, with the long hair. Uh, Nexus. Even Nexus said it. Don't expect your PlayStation 5 to be hitting 8K 30. It's not happening. Uh -uh. Na even native 8K 30. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No. 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 It's not going to happen. Only 4K... 60 at medium graphical settings that the AMD can achieve. Ask Lisa Sue, ask Mark Cerny off the record and they'll tell you what's possible. <sighs> Let's be real, guys. Why, why can't we be real? See, this is the problem with, with that I have with fanboys. It's okay if you love a brand. I have nothing against people appreciating and loving a certain brand it's okay if you love Sony hey dude that's awesome cheers enjoy it but don't tell me that your Sony or your Microsoft is the, the be-all and end-all and the greatest thing since pyramids don't feed me that crap please you got a lousy 600 gigabyte storage what are you gonna put three games on there Come on, man. Why can't we be realistic? It's 2021. Why can't we start this year, 2021, by being real? Why we have to constantly hold the flags, defending these brands? Sony doesn't care about you. Clearly, Jim Ryan doesn't care. Do you know why? Because he says he's okay with $75 for every game that's on Sony PlayStation. Every game should be $75 on PlayStation 5. If it's a PlayStation 5 backward compatible game, it needs to be $75. Every game, it needs to become a standard $75. Yet, they haven't addressed 
the issue and a disaster last year since September, October, November, December, four months, they haven't addressed the disaster, disaster that has happened with Sony PlayStation 5. They haven't even addressed it. They don't care about you, man. When are you, you going to learn that? They don't care. They just want you to be a loyal simp, a loyal simp, a cheerleader, and spend money on their products. When are people going to wake up? I'm not even going to realize that. So this is what I don't understand about this pandemic called the fanboyism. Where did this come from? How did I... I, I really want to know the origin. How did this start? No, really. Uh, spool time, Daryl, maybe you guys can explain this to me. Where did this come from? How did this happen? Did I slept under a rock in some cave for, for 10 years... How did this, how did this originate? Where did this come from? Yes, Commodore 64, I enjoyed it. And my friends enjoyed Amiga 500, but guess what? We didn't fanboy about it. You know what we did? We came to each other's house. We, I brought the Commodore, he brought the Amiga, and we switched, we trade places. And we enjoyed both, uh, both computers. I enjoyed Amiga. He enjoyed the Commodore and vice versa. One time my other friend came in and brought me a Spectrum ZX Sinclair. I enjoyed Spectrum ZX Sinclair playing the Lunar uh, game. He enjoyed the Commodore 64 playing a Paperboy. I enjoyed the Mega 500 playing the Robocop 3. There was no fanboyism. When did this start? Did it start with Nintendo and Sega? Or did it start with Sony PlayStation? I have a feeling this whole thing started with PlayStation 2. I, I, I'll just say it. I'll just say it. The whole thing started with the PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2. In 2000, October, PlayStation 2. I think this is where it started. I'll just say it. And of course, you got the Microsoft fanboys. They were born... With Dwayne The Rock and Bill Gates releasing in 2001 Xbox and Halo. And then you got the Xbox fanboys being reborn. So now you have PlayStation fanboys and the Xbox fanboys. And of course Nintendo uh, was already catching up to that. But Nintendo was really never a hardcore fanboys. Even today you don't hear about Nintendo fans that much. And of course PC elitists... I believe they started after Half-Life. With Half-Life, all the PC elitists start coming out of the woodwork. Forget your Unreal Tournament. What about the Half-Life, bro? Half-Life 2. So I think it started in 2000. Early 2000. This whole freaking shit started. This console wars, this whole fanboyism crap started in 2000. Exactly. You play it on your, uh, on your machines, on your arcade machines, on your handle-held machines. We, listen, man, back in the 80s, we appreciated. Dude, I appreciate it, just like right now. I appreciate that I can play this directly. And I can play this on my phone, I can play this on my whatever. I appreciate that. I appreciate technology. I appreciate virtual reality. That I can play Grand Theft Auto V in virtual reality. I appreciate that I can play Flight Simulator on my PC with a triple monitor. I appreciate technology. I appreciate I can watch my movies press of a button. I appreciate that I can listen to my podcasts press of a button. Doesn't matter where I'm at. I appreciate technology. That's the difference between us who appreciate technology and those of you who are just simply defending your brand that's the difference I think spool time you might be right I think um, 
Bill Gates and uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, they started a whole, they, they kicked off the whole thing in 2001, November. I think you might be right. I think the Xbox started this whole, uh, uh, it gave birth to the fanboys with a Halo. You see, all you PC gamers, with a console I can play games like Halo. You see, it's possible to play first person shooters on a console. And that's where the whole thing started, right there. That's where the, the, the first shot was fired. The first shot was fired in 2001, November. I think you're right, Spool. Oh, dude, it's great. VR is great, man. I have it right here. Uh, listen, man, this is great. Um, right now, you can get this for 300 bucks. They just dropped the price on the Oculus Rift S, and I don't think you, I don't think you need anything else other than Oculus Rift S. It's 300 bucks. It's very cheap. Or you can get an Oculus Quest. You can get a 300 dollar Oculus Quest. You don't have to go for 400 dollars uh, because you're gonna be using that Quest with um, with your PC anyway. Why? Because the Oculus Quest has the higher resolution than this. But there's nothing wrong with this. But if you're gonna spend 300 on this, might as well go with the Oculus Quest. Because Oculus Quest, you don't need a PC. You can play without a PC. So uh, there's that, you know. But um, I like that there's options. You know what I mean? That's the whole point I'm trying to bring about here. Ringing in this new year. Ringing in this new year. I, I want to tell people, man, why can we appreciate technology? Sure, we should criticize Xbox and Microsoft for the lack of first-party games. They need to be criticized for that. There's no question about that. Give the criticism where the criticism is due. But give the credit where the credit is due as well. Let's not have double standards. I don't like double standards, man. And I see a lot of double standards out there. That's why I get irritated. People ask me, why do you, why do you quickly get so irritated? Because of double standards plenty of double standards out there. I don't like it, man. My old ass here doesn't like it. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Cameron D. Happy 2021. Yeah, we got some new moderators. Um, yeah, man. You missed so much, brother. <laughs> you missed so much. But welcome back. Uh, we did a 15-hour live stream yesterday. We did 15 hours... Since uh, 12 o'clock noon, Cyberpunk on the Google Stadia, 1080p 60, uh, and then we uh, finished at 4 o'clock in the morning. So between 12 o'clock noon all the way till uh, 4 o'clock in the morning. So 15 hours, we were rocking and rolling, 15 hours. Anyway, just to give you a, a brief thing about what happened. Uh, in case you're wondering, what happened is um, I had a bunch of idiots coming in uh, to the chat room and uh, saying stupid stuff like 1080p 60 sucks. Why would you want to play in 1080p 60? Uh, this is ridiculous. You know, 1080p 60, it's pretty good for cloud gaming. You know, and then. I just said, okay, fine. If people are gonna ask, people are gonna type stupid stuff. If people are gonna act a fool, and if they're gonna type stupid stuff, well, they, then they're gonna earn stupid rewards. So what I basically did, I put them to tests to see who's gonna join, to see who's gonna become a member. And I said, hey, if you become a member, you can say anything you wanna say, but you're not gonna do it for free. You're not going to get that opportunity because it's my channel. It's my rules. It's that simple. And I know you know, Cameron D. My, my channel, my rules. It's really that simple. Your home, your rules. That simple. I reserve the rights. Um, and that's what happened. And I said, fine. And so far, I have spool time. And Daryl, Daryl has been with me since 2015. I made him a moderator. Cameron because he's been with me since 2015 
He's been watching me since 2015, and he paid to uh, to become a silver, and he came in and he become a silver member. So I felt it's time for him. After 2015, now it's 2021. I think it's time he gets promoted. So I gave him that wrench. He doesn't have to use it, but I gave him that wrench so that nobody can remove him. I gave him that wrench so that he doesn't have to be a member next time and he can just come in whenever he wants um, and that's why I did it well there you go you see Cameron thank you even on the PlayStation 5 nothing wrong with 1080p 60 you know nothing wrong with that and we're not doing 8k like I was trying to tell people, Sony should be ashamed of, of themselves uh, putting that big 8K, 8K acrement that says play in 8K. Digital Foundry couldn't even select 8K resolution. They couldn't even select 8K, let alone play in 8K. So it's not an 8K machine, you know. And then they put 4K HDR in the small little letters. PlayStation 5 Pro most likely will do 8K 30 checkerboard. With a dual GPU, which is going to be more expensive, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, here's the thing, Cameron. I'm just at the point in my life where I just don't have time. Honestly, I just don't have time for stupid shit. You know what I mean, man? I I'm at the point in my life where I just don't have time for stupid shit. Like, I don't have to put up with it. If I have to put up with it at work, when I'm working, fine. But here, I reserve my right and I don't have to put up with stupidity. Somebody writing me some stupid shit. Somebody insulting my intelligence, writing me some stupid nonsense. That, I don't have to do that. Now, like I said, if people want to write me a stupid nonsense, well, then become a member. And I promise you, you can write as much stupid nonsense as you want. No one's going to remove you. As long as you become a member, right? Defend everything you want to defend. Give whatever opinions you want to give. Say whatever you want to say. Say whatever. But as long as you become a member. Okay? But I just simply uh, don't have time to be looking at some spamming of 40, 50, 60 people spamming my chat room with some stupidity. And then those people who have questions for me, who are members, I cannot see their chat because I got clogged up with all of the stupidity of freeloaders coming in, typing a bunch of stupid nonsense. You know what I mean? Exactly, exactly, Cameron. It's ridiculous that they put 8K, right? You showed me on the box, right, Cameron? When you uh, go follow Cameron on Instagram, uh, I find out about PlayStation 5 stuff from Cameron. I go to Instagram. He does bodybuilding. Uh, he's a bodybuilder, but he also uh, talks about video games. He has, he's got two channels. Two channels. Cameron Lift Weights, and there's another one about the gaming. Cameron Gaming uh, on Instagram. And on Instagram, he shows me the box, the PlayStation 5 box. And there's a big, huge acronym that says 8K. And in a small little acronym says 4K HDR. So 4K, it's a small little tiny acronym, but 8K got a big one. And you can't even switch to 8K, let alone play in 8K. So there's a, the, Sony should be responsible for that misleading and gimmick because that's misleading the customer you telling the customer that they should buy a 8k television yet they can't even switch richard richard from digital foundry has a 8k nano cell lg television he couldn't even switch to 8k resolution capish he couldn't even switch to 8k resolution and they're putting that 8k on there
Look, man, I told the guy, I said to the guy, and I told everybody, it's you that's going to suffer. I'm having a great time. I've been doing this for, for seven and a half years, almost eight years. This is not my first rodeo. I did 15 hours yesterday. Don't worry about me. I've been doing this for, for a long time. I fought all kinds of battles. I've been doing this for quite a long time. All right? For almost seven and a half years. It's going to be eight years this year. Eight years. I've been doing this channel. Okay? First, I did the experiment in 2013 and then 2014. And then 2015 and 2016, I start kicking off with the 4K. But I've been doing this for a long time. Okay? That's why I have 5,600 plus videos. And I'm having a great time. I'm enjoying myself here with you guys. But others are going to be suffering. Because they, they want to they wanna act stupid. They want to act a fool. They're the ones suffering right now. And they have to watch me. And they cannot type. They can hit a dislike. I could care less. Dislikes doesn't do shit to me. Do you know why? Because I'm not sponsored. I'm not sponsored. No one sponsored me. So the dislike doesn't mean anything. Okay, okay, okay. Do some research. Do some research. Come on. Stop watching the porn hub. Do some fucking research. All right? Maybe if you do some research, maybe you would fucking know. But since you were dropped on your head as a little kid, it's too late for you. Um, that's it, man. I want to have a great time. I'm, I, I don't enjoy giving people a hard time. But I don't tolerate bullshit. I reserve the right not to tolerate bullshit. Anyway, let's go. That's true, it's full time, but you should appreciate it for what it is. You know, when I mean technology, I mean appreciate what you have. Okay? You don't have to compete with technology, but appreciate what you have. Appreciate that there's uh, choices. Well, that's what I mean by technology. I mean, people should appreciate that, hey, I do have a choice. I don't have to build a PC. To play video games. I don't have to buy a PlayStation 5. Unless I want to play those exclusives. Uh, I do. I, I have other choices. Same thing with the movies. I have other choices. That's what I mean by technology. There's other choices. Uh, but the problem is. Uh, due to the fanboyism. People cannot appreciate those choices. Because they have to defend their brand. They have to defend their team. They have to defend their brand. It doesn't give a shit about them just wants their money that's my whole point about appreciating not technology all right that's what i mean by that the fact that i can use a virtual reality and fly a flight simulator virtual reality is not super expensive you can buy it for three hundred dollars three hundred dollars not the end of the world um that's what i mean appreciating technology the convenience of technology in other words you know but for other people, that seems to be a difficult thing to process, difficult thing to, to acknowledge. They're always looking for an excuse. That's the problem, why we're stuck in this limbo. Everyone is looking for an excuse. That's the problem. People are making excuse for everything. That's the problem. Everything has to have a fucking excuse. Oh, man, I don't want to go uh, uh, up to the mountains. I'll get cold. Then get a jacket. Get a cap. Get some gloves. Get some uh, winter clothing. Put on a make a fireplace. And you'll be okay. No, man, it's too expensive, man. How about, for example, 
uh, what you call it, internet. Dude, I cannot pay $30 for the unlimited internet. Extra $30 is a lot of money, man. But you are more than willing to pay penalty fees going over the limit. Let me repeat this one more fucking time. You don't want to pay extra $30 so you don't go over the limit. But you're willing, you're more than happy, you're willing to pay an extra penalty fees, which is going to cost you more than $30. You're willing to pay an extra penalty fees because you don't have unlimited data. Excuses. Really retarded excuses. This generation, I really don't get. I don't get you guys. To me, you're like uh, aliens from a different universe, from a different planet out there. I don't know, some different galaxy that I don't know about. <sighs> Even a Hubble probably hasn't discovered that galaxy yet. You know. Well, of course, you know, um, spool time, there's always something better. That's why, you know, my brother told me, says, never chase technology. Just adopt to it when it becomes standard. And it's true. A lot of people are chasing and competing. And I used to do that, too. I used to compete. I used to chase technology. But then I realized, hey, man, this is ridiculous. I can't keep up with this. I can't keep up with this. First of all, it's expensive. That's number one. It's a waste of money. It's expensive. And second of all, you can't compete. But even if you could compete, what's the point of competing? You know? But I, I, I get your point. Dude, I totally get your point. But that's why you don't compete. Uh, Cameron D will tell you, this is his first time having a PlayStation. He didn't have a PlayStation 4, but now he got it. Um... It's not about, you know, you don't have to compete. Just wait. Wait till it becomes standard. And then when it becomes standard, then you adapt to it. Then you'll have no choice. You'll have to adapt to it. Uh, but you should never uh, chase technology. You should never try to compete. Uh, that's a dead end. People buying a television every year. Wow. Why don't you buy a car every year then? You know? Uh, I, I don't get that. It's some kind of a fetish. It's some kind of a fetish that I don't understand. Like, why do you have to buy every year a TV? Dude, nothing wrong with what you have. It's still 4K. It's still HDR. It's still white color gamut, spectrum colors, white color gamut. What's the problem? No, but there's a filmmaker mode. A filmmaker mode. Dude, I'll come to your house and I'll, for free, for free, free of charge, I'm going to come to your house and I'm going to adjust your picture settings to look exactly like the filmmaker mode. There's a lot of gimmicky shit out there that these companies are selling every year. Do you know why? They need to make money, so they have to put gimmick shit they have to put a lot of gimmick shit. But people who understand technology, people who are educated and who understand, even you can understand. If you wouldn't watch the, the webcam models and porn hubs or OnlyFans, if you would actually do some research, do some proper research, sit down in front of your computer, did some research, grab some coffee and understood the difference between liquid crystal display and organic light emitting diodes and how does that work? How's the full white color gamut work? What's the DCIP3 color measurement? How's that being measured? If you would learn about vertical alignment panels versus twisted pneumatic and IPS in-plane switching panels, if you would spend some time to learn about technology, to learn about how it works, maybe, just maybe, maybe, you wouldn't be buying a television every year. Maybe you would understand, hey man, I don't need to spend money waste my goddamn money in this, this economy that sucks every year wasting money left and right
buying this gimmick shit. But that's because you don't want to learn. It's too much for you. You would rather just, I don't know, watch the Pornhub instead of fucking uh, sitting in front of a computer to learn something, to educate yourself how something works. Maybe if you did that, you wouldn't be asking stupid questions and you wouldn't be making a fool out of yourself, saying stupid things. If you did actually some research and understood, I don't need to buy a fucking TV because some asshole wearing a fucking mask is going to tell me I need to buy a TV. Or some other asshole out there who's sponsored up to his eyeballs telling you why you should buy a new TV. Or some other guy who lives in Malibu, has a big ass fucking house and, and shitload of money, quarter of a million dollars a year, and he's going to tell you why you need to spend $10,000 on a new fucking um, laser projector. Maybe you would understand why you don't have to do that. But hey, do what you want. I'm just simply saying you should learn. Learn. Educate yourself. Save your money. Don't waste it. Don't burn it. Even if you have it, you shouldn't burn it. Because you worked fucking hard for it. That's all I'm saying. But you're welcome. I'm just here to give you good advice. I'm not going to give you shitty advice like those other assholes. Those other a-holes out there. Driving a Porsche BMW. Living in a fucking Malibu. Leasing that house. Paying more on a fucking maintenance than they are on a goddamn house. You know. I'm not going to mention names. I'm not going to say who these guys are. But you know who they are. So that's why I get agitated. I am allergic to stupid bullshit. Like George Carlin says, I'm allergic to stupid bullshit. I'm allergic to stupidity. It is what it is. Yeah, same thing with the ray tracing, dude. I mean, it's great. Don't get me wrong. I played ray tracing since Battlefield 5. But it's not be all and all. It's like Linus Tech Tip says. It's like Jay Z talks about ray tracing. That's why Jay Z is pissed off at Nvidia. Nvidia is pushing, pushing and shoving this uh, uh, ray tracing. Oh, you gotta have ray tracing. You shouldn't play a game without a ray tracing. How many ray tracing games do we have? Ray tracing is not a big deal. But Nvidia, because it's their product, they're shoving it down. And they want every YouTuber to push, to push how important ray tracing is. No, it's not that important. Nobody gives a shit. To be, quite, to be quite honest, nobody gives a rat's ass about ray tracing, NVIDIA. Nobody gives a less than a shit about ray tracing. Only you care, NVIDIA, about the goddamn ray tracing. Ray tracing. Yeah, I have de definitely I'm going to have a time to sit here and look at the ray tracing and examine it, right? I'm busy doing a mission. I'm busy trying to eliminate the enemy on the Call of Duty. I don't have time to sit there and, and look for the, uh, for the ray of light. Where the ray of light is bouncing. Where's the shadows? Like people have time to just be observing. Like some kind of technical demo, you know. Ooh, ray tracing, look at that. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. What the fuck happened to people these days? Jesus H. Christ, man. Ray tracing. Nobody is buying a graphics card and saying, Hey man, hey Jay-Z, does it have a ray tracing? No. They're buying a graphics card. They want to know what kind of performance. What kind of performance can they get? 
And if the uh, 6900 XT will give them better performance than 3080, guess what? Guess what? They're going to go with the 6900 XT because it's giving them a way better performance. People buy graphics cards because they're looking for performance. They don't give a rat's ass about the ray tracing. You know? But <clears throat> I, I digress. I rest my case. I digress. I rest my case. I mean, for... Right, for... Uh, for Amazon Luna, man, this is great. Anyway, let's continue with this game because uh, we've been uh, talking too much. We've been talking too much. I said what I needed to say. You know, it is what it is. I'm getting hiccups. Somebody's calling me. But listen, all of this stuff I just said, it's a waste of time. It's really a waste of time. Uh, people don't change. They're never going to change. That one thing I know. That I know 100%. People don't change. The years change. Technology change. But people don't change. People don't fucking change. I gotta go fight the old man. The old man's in there with a chainsaw. I mean, what's wrong with this? 1080p 60. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. This really sucks. Yeah. What am I supposed to say? Yeah, this really sucks. Amazon, why don't you just go ahead and cancel your service? This really sucks. This is unplayable. I cannot play like this. How dare you? How dare you release this kind of crap? Yeah, I get very irritated with that kind of stupid statement. I don't tolerate that kind of stupidity on my channel. All right, let's go. Let's fight the old man, man. Let's do this. Let's get ready for this shit. I need to prepare. Listen, guys, I got to prepare. It is what it is, man. I got to prepare. Okay, I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready, man. It's locked from the other side. Here we go. Here we go. Fuck. That's not the key. I think it's a boiler room. I think it's a boiler boiler room. I think so.
Yep. It is here. <clears throat> oh my god. Here they come. Oh shit. God damn it. Come on guys, we don't have to do this. We don't have to do this. You know, there's got to be another way. Listen, guys. Uh, there has to be another way. Let's go. Run to the chopper! Oh, boy. Finally, we did it. I gotta go upstairs. Weapons. There we go. That's what I needed. Oh! The Papa Smurf is here. God damn you, Papa Smurf. You ain't getting away. God damn it, Papa Smurf. Why I cannot pick it up, dude? Hold on. No, 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 no. I need to drop something. Hold on. What can I drop? Ah, uh, drop the tape. Fuck it. I need to drop something as quickly as possible. Time to throw a pair, Ethan. I have a pair, motherfucker. No. Hell no. Hell no, man. What the? F Why I cannot use that shit? I like you. Uh, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, man. 
Here we go. Sideways. Oh no. Oh, come on. Damn. I mean, God damn. God damn. God damn, boy. Gunpowder, wait a minute. Oh, thank God. Thank Lord. All right, let's do this shit. Yes! 
Motherfucker. Guns on much you around here, son. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, asshole. Jesus. Was that? Mamba was chosen for a holiday bash. I didn't know that. He was here yesterday. He didn't say anything. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Congratulations. I mean, I was here yesterday for 15 hours. He didn't mention anything. Um, uh, but that's, that's awesome, dude. Cool. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Hold on. My camera. There. What's going on with my camera, dude? It's, it's fogging up a little bit. Hold on. Let me see. We gotta fix this. That's better, dude. What the fuck? I think when uh, when I killed this dude, <laughs> all the fog went up. Second, I gotta fix something here. A little bit. Here we go. That's better.
That's better. Let me see. Hmm. <laughs> That's okay, man. I'm already in a public eye as much as it is, bro. <laughs> I don't want any more attention. <laughs> Do me a favor and stay dead. Did he drop something here? Hold on. Let's get out of here and let's save the game, dude. Let's just... Let's just whole ass. I use it. <sighs> Whole ass, get out of here. Here we go. Let's save the game, dude. It sucks that I uh, dropped the uh, that herb. But that's okay, I'll find a herb somewhere else. Um, I know I lost it here, but I'll find it somewhere else. Game, it's saved. <sighs> did I save it? Yeah, I did. I'm on a Comcast. You know, I used to... Well, I still have Comcast, but uh, I have the... Um, internet with them that's okay i guess uh mr 4k on comcast is a peacock or what what are you what are you what are you watching me on uh comcast flix or flex or flix or what's it called flix flex flix fixter or flixter i know there's a they have different type of services they have uh comcast uh plex or what is it uh, is it? I know it's not just a cable. There's a like a different type of a service they have now available that has a peacock included, a peacock service included. But I forgot what it is. Help me out here, uh, MUW. Um, what's it called? It's like a little box. Oh, so you have the uh, the, the Xfinity cable? I got you. 
the Xfinity. I got you. That's crazy, dude. People can just click and say, I think that's that's awesome. People can just use the uh, use the remote and say, Mr. 4K, YouTube. And then shows up, Mr. 4K, YouTube. Oh my God. Grandpa. I mean, grandma. Grandma. That's great, man. I love that. I love the, that. I love the ability to do that. Just to. Mr. 4K. YouTube. How about Mr. 4K Salty Haters? How about Mr. 4K Salty Crocodiles? <laughs> I don't. Oh, there's a scorpion key. Yes, sir. How do I get the shotgun? That's the question. How do I get the shotgun? How I need another rifle. I wish I could find another rifle. Where is another rifle? Hello, I would like to order a uh, cheese with pizza, but sir, it comes with a cheese. I would like to order pepperoni on it, but it comes with pepperoni, sir. Okay, but thin and crust. Well, sir, now we're talking. Gunpowder. Here we go. I need to find a rifle in order for me to to use this. <laughs> Nvidia Shield is one of my favorite devices. Um, there's so much you can do on Nvidia Shield Pro, honestly. Um, It's probably the best money I ever spent on an electronic device. It's uh, Nvidia Shield um, because it does everything I want it to do. Uh, I can sideload any application I want to sideload. I can use whatever I want to use: the keyboard, the mouse, the, the racing wheel, uh, flight stick. I can put a USB powered hub. I can put a hard drive, external hard drive. I mean, there's so much I can do on Nvidia Shield Pro and and honestly it's probably the best thing that ever came out of Nvidia it's the Nvidia Shield Pro it does Dolby Vision it does uh, Dolby Atmos it has uh, 4k upscaling called the 4, 4k uh, uh, AI upscaling it's perfect <laughs> oh yeah you can put it in your jacket Broken shotgun. Wait a minute. Oh Lord. The hell is this? Oh, perfect. I'll leave it open, sorry. Right.
you can do so much, man. You can even do, um, you can use Commodore 64, Spectrum, Atari, SNES, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Genesis. You can do frick, dude. You can do whatever. Perfect uh, uh, emulator. You can emulate whatever you want to emulate. I mean, I mean, I can go down to, I can fill in the blanks, the stuff that you can do with Nvidia Shield Pro. If you have a home theater, man, you should have Nvidia Shield Pro. Uh, it's really, uh, what's not to like? I have wasted money on other things. Uh, Nvidia Shield Pro is definitely the most resourceful and really came in handy. I want the shotgun. Where is the shotgun? God damn it. I want the shoddy. Where is the shoddy? Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Where do they keep the shotgun? Ah! I got the broken shotgun. Now I can go downstairs and take care of business. You know what I mean. Take care of business. Replace the broken shotgun with a real shotgun. Right here. Right here. Right now. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. My friend. My friend. All right. I got to drop some shit. Here we go, broken shotgun. Nicely done. Yes, sir. Now we talking. The only thing left to do is obviously this. Put the horse set. We need two more. We need two more. Where are we gonna find it? Zoe, that's Zoe, dude. Oh, Evelyn. So who is Zoe then?
We need more horses. More horses. More horses. Nothing here. Hold on. Connection interrupted. Here we go. I need two more horse um, statues. That's not it. There's got to be something here I missed. Let me see. Okay, Cam, thank you. already been through here there's nothing here um, Look at that flamethrower. What is that? Oh, shit. Um, I 
I'm missing something here, but I don't know what. I need two more horses' heads. I don't know where the hell am I going to find it. Is it here? Wait a minute, what is this? I've already been there. Uh, let's save the game here. Since I'm here... Am I going in circles? Nope, here we go. Did I miss something here? Take that. I did everything here. Um, I need a serpent key to open that other door, but I don't know where the hell it is. living room all right let's get out of here Right, let's get out of here. Here we go. 
Let's move out of here. We we'll got a living room. Where the hell is the living room? Main hall. Oh, we gotta go to the living room. That's where I'm gonna find another dog's head. And then we gotta go to the recreation room. Where the fuck is the recreation room? That's a main hole. I need a living room. All right, let's go around into the dining and living room. And the horse's head should be there. Let's see. That's pantry, dining room, the living room. It's here. All right, so this is the living room. Where's the horse's head? God damn it. There's gotta be something here. Three years of live gold for 180 Canadians. Well, there you go. It's not bad. It's a pretty good deal. For three years. Oh, you're using VPN. Oh, it's tricky, man. You got to be careful with that. Ah, oh, Cam. When you use the VPN, it could be very tricky because of different regions. Different set of rules, especially with Microsoft. Ugh. So where is the horse's head? Here I am. A goddamn living room. I don't see no horse's head. What do I need? What do I need to put in here to use the horse's head? I don't know. What the hell?
Maybe there's something down here. I don't know. Antique coin. I don't get this. Like what what piece am I missing? Was there something in the bathtub? What is this? There's nothing here. Nothing here. Ah, uh, <clears throat> uh, this is why I don't like Microsoft, man. They make everything so difficult, just like Apple. With these guys, everything has to be so goddamn complex. Um, even their windows, it's not even worth the shit. Always some issues and problems with windows. Uh, let's, just, let's just call it what it is. Microsoft sucks. Uh, what can I tell you? They always sucked. Let's be honest. They always sucked. Really, when you really deep, when you look at it and you deep dive down into it, uh, Microsoft has always really sucked. Just like Apple sometimes with their, you know, ridiculous pin numbers and all the other shit you have to go through. What's your pin number? What's your secret code? And all this other crap uh, you have to go through just to access your iCloud. You know, all this. They just make it so damn compartmentalized and, and it just makes it difficult for you to enjoy the service, you know. <clears throat> well, I don't know what I'm missing here. I mean, dude, I, I'm looking everything here. I don't know what the fuck they want me to do here. Um, I need to put something here. I need to put something here, but I don't know what. So what the fuck they want me to use? I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> Is there something here? Nope. Fuck. Maybe in a garage I missed something, I don't know. Like, what the fuck am I missing?
Let me climb up. What is this? Bullets. I hate when you get stuck with these games, you know, like these Resident Evil games. And you're like, okay, dude, uh, I checked the living room. I checked the freaking main hole. Uh, where do I get this? Uh, I have to put something on this clock, the, the watch clock, the wall clock. Uh, but I don't know where to find that shit. Uh, where is it? Where do I got to go? I checked everything. I checked the basement. I mean, I don't know where the hell is it. Um, it's like, what the hell? I'm up for a challenge, but I'm not up for some circle jerk here. Wild goose fucking chase, trying to find some shit where it should be obvious if it's... Come on, you know. My, my thing with the developers is sometimes they go too fucking far. Like, hey, dude... We're all up for a challenge, but why do you have to make it so fucking goddamn complex and difficult? All right? Tell me where this fucking thing is. Where can I find it? Where, which fucking room is it? Uh, why does it have to be so goddamn waste of time difficult? Uh, shit like that bothers me with some of these games. You know, and the Japanese have this fetish for, for that kind of complex shit. Like, everything has to be so fucking complex. You know? Why can't you make it easier, for fuck's sake? It makes me not even want to play this fucking game at this at this point right now. You know, it's fucking bullshit. Looking for this shit here. Whatever. Where the fuck is it? You know, these fucking games. It's always something. And I have to fucking search on the internet now. Gotta go through goddamn Google to search for some shit. Waste my fucking time to search to find out where some shit is. It's fucking Resident Evil games. No, really, man. Fucking, I don't even want fucking live stream right now. This shit kind of shit pisses the fuck out of me. I'm in a goddamn living room, motherfucker. Where is it? What the fuck do I got to do here? All right. I have to put something here. But what is it? Can you give me a clue? Can you tell me what the hell it is that I have to put in here? No, we're not going to tell you. I'm not going to give you a fucking clue. I have to fucking run around in fucking circles and, and shit. Like a fucking Jehovah Witness. Come on, man. Give me a fucking break. These bullshit ass games. <sighs> There's nothing here. Where do I gotta go? For real. Do I have to go from the beginning? Like, what? No, it just fucks it up, man. And it also fucks up the live stream. I'm here like a fucking Jehovah Witness standing and walking around. It is ridiculous. You know? And I don't want to go through Google and search and shit and waste my time searching... Uh, you know, just make it make it common sense. Make it, you know, I'm not saying make it super easy, but common sense. Like, what the fuck, man? Give me some clues. Where do I go now? Do I have to go downstairs? I guess I have to. I have no lock pick. How am I open? How am I gonna open this? I have no lock pick. How am I supposed to open this shit? Uh, there's nothing here. I don't see anything. Nothing in a in a kitchen. Nothing in a in a goddamn living room. Like, you know, this kind of shit drives me fucking crazy, man. A shit that that should be simple, it's difficult. A book. Nothing. 
something on a clock. Can I go back to the first floor? How do I go back to the first floor? There's nothing here. I checked the garage. There's nothing there. I checked here. I checked everywhere. The only thing I have left is going back up. Going back up. Over here. Um, well, honestly, I, I, I wanted to do this live stream to show you how well... Um, the Resident Evil 7. Obviously, I played this game. I played it before. I played it in VR. I didn't finish it. I was close to finishing it, but the whole purpose of this live stream, in case people are scratching their heads, besides the uh, the gameplay, it was for me to show you how it runs through Amazon Luna. You know, and clearly it says Luna. You know, you can see that big purple sign Luna, and then you have assholes coming in here. Is this on Luna? You know, some some jackass twat, whose mom dropped whose mom dropped him at his birth, dropped him on his fucking head. Some some yayo coming in here telling me, is it Luna? Yeah, when your mama dropped you in your fucking head, it was Luna. Yes, asshole. I'm sorry. I you know what? I'm not fucking sorry. Fuck these assholes and go fuck themselves. That's my message. Fuck them all, big and small. That's my message. Your mama drops you on your fucking head. That's why it's Luna. Asshole. Clearly says Luna here. And that was the whole point. I wanted to show people in six hours here during this live stream. I wanted to show you to see that, hey, this is not that bad. For Amazon that is doing 1080p 60. For a Resident Evil 7. And I haven't had any hiccups. I just have zero tolerance for stupidity, man. Fuck people. They know exactly what they're doing, so fuck them. You know exactly what the fuck you're doing, motherfucker. When you come here to type, you know exactly what the fuck you're doing. And I'm going to hold you responsible for your bullshit when you come here. Oh, they read the titles. They fucking know. But they're big pussies behind the fucking keyboard. That's what it is. In person, no one's gonna fucking face me in person. How do I know? In 41 fucking years, no one came to me in person to say some shit. Because they know they can't hide behind the fucking keyboard. That's why. And they don't want to find out what happens next. Because in real life, you have no fucking second chance. You fuck up. You make one chance, you make one mistake, and you fuck up. But in the internet, they can hide behind the goddamn keyboard and they can stroke their, you know, cocks. Simps. Pukes. Soy boy powder milk. There's nothing here. Look, nothing. So what am I supposed to do here? Teach my balls Turkish language? Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? What is this shit? Oh, in the 80s, you couldn't hide. They knew exactly where you are. And if you want to say something, you have to say it in person. You couldn't hide. Ah, you got to say it in person. If you want to say something to me, you got to go find me and then say it. Um, that was different back then. But now it's just like any jackass, any yayo, any twat can 
go behind a fucking keyboard or behind a cell phone and just anonymously say whatever the hell they want to say. Click and play right away, fuck them all, big and small. <laughs> I don't know. That that t-shirt will uh, cause a lot of uh, problems, dude. I'm going to turn into a freaking MAGA. I'm going to turn into a, like, Trump of YouTube. People are going to blame me. He divided us. Look what he did. He created a controversy. <laughs> nah, I don't want that title, dude. Nah, it's all right. But it's fun. It's kind of fun. Fuck them all, big and small. Yeah. Click and play right away. But see, if I do that, if I do that, if I... If I make a shirt like that, see, they would want me, Cameron, they would want me to make a shirt like that or a hat like that that says, click and play right away, fuck them all, big and small. Uh, because they can say, you see, he's a fanboy. He loves cloud gaming. He's a cloud boy. He's a cloud boy. Yeah. I don't want to give them that because I'm not. You know, I play everything. I play virtual reality. Uh, I play Nintendo Switch. I play PC. I, you guys know, five thousand six hundred videos. You know, I play all of the above. You know, even though I have a VR headset sitting here right now in front of me, um, that's not going to be enough. That's not going to be enough. They're going to say no. He's still a cloud boy. You can't win with these motherfuckers, man. There's no win-win with these motherfuckers. So I don't want to give him the opportunity to say, ah, you see, he's a cloud boy. A cloud boy. Oh, there you go. That, that's it. I said it. Now they're all going to start saying it. Cloud boy. Now everyone's going to start using that shit. Watch. Watch what happens. They're going to start trending. Hashtag cloud boy. Cloud boys. Oh my god. I got I haven't been on Instagram. I got to go check it out. I'm going to check it out. I love Kenneth Copeland. Oh dude, he makes my fucking day. He really makes my day. I demand. I demand. I demand. The vaccination mania. You COVID-19, you're doggone, you're gone forever and you never come back. <laughs> That guy made the billions of dollars, man, just by saying some crazy shit. How easy is that? That's fucking easy, right? Act a fool, act a crazy. I think he's highly intelligent. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll give the guy a credit. I think Kenneth Copeland, it's highly intelligent. Super highly intelligent. Do you know why? But the guy is a billionaire. Lives large. He has everything he wants. People worship him. People follow him. He has reached more people on the internet than anyone else. Uh, the guy's highly intelligent. And all he had to do is act the crazy. Is act the stupid. And look at him now. But he's not crazy. He's not stupid. He's highly intelligent. That's called, I know exactly what I'm doing. And that's something people can see. And that's probably the greatest gift that you can have. That you are ahead of the curve. You know, like Joker, for example. You know in that movie, The Dark Knight, when uh, Gimbal, Gimbal says, uh, what was it, like, uh, put my, enough with the clown and all that. When, when he says, you know, uh, J Michael Ja White played the Gimbal. And he says, enough with the clown. And he says, no, I'm not crazy. Hmm. Like Joker says, um, I'm not crazy. No, I'm not crazy. Um, he said that because he wants them to know. He wants these mob dealers to know. I'm just using you. To me, you are just uh, mannequins, Napoleon cardboards. And that guy from China, he pointed out, oh, he's a squealer. He's going to squeal. 
I know a squealer when I see one. That shows you the intelligence that the Joker had. Means he's ahead of the curve. And he clearly said he doesn't give a shit about money. He doesn't care about money. If, it was, if he was after money, he would have it. Uh, he just wants to see the world burn. Like that's, his, that's what he wants. He wants to see everything burn. Uh, even he says, watch the world burn. He wants to complete chaos. And even says, I'm an agent of chaos. Uh, that movie, it's so fucking deep. But it's also uh, very evilish. But he's not crazy. Joker's a very highly intelligent. Uh, in that movie, he's very fucking highly intelligent. And Batman knew that. Uh, you know, he knew this guy's hard to crack, not because he's crazy, but because he's highly intelligent. So Kenneth Copeland is highly intelligent. But he's pretending that he's crazy because that's how he makes money. You see what I'm saying? You got you to gotta reverse things. Like you have to reverse engineer people. And I'm good at that. I'm good at profiling people. That's why no one can pull a bullshit in front of me. Because I can see exactly what your intent is and I know exactly what you're doing. Um... And Kenneth Copeland knows exactly what he's doing. It's not a by accident. Uh uh. You can call him crazy all day long. He doesn't. Actually, he loves the fact that you are calling him crazy. He loves the fact that you're making all these videos and he's, he's getting hundreds of millions. Publicity free advertisement. I would love that too. Imagine that. You get hundreds of millions free advertisement because they're advertising him they're making all these remixes they're making all these videos and they're pretty good remixes like what the fuck broad does a great job on it uh and it's reaching everybody it's reaching the entire globe of internet even people in zimbabwe they know who kenneth copeland is <laughs> i haven't seen the wonder woman uh but i heard it really sucked that's what I heard. <laughs> the wind of God. You know, I first find out about Kenneth Copeland from, believe it or not, this is going to sound funny, but I first find out about Kenneth Copeland from Thanos on Instagram. From, uh... What's his name? Jesus Christ. Um, uh, Josh Brolin from Josh on Instagram. I find out about Kenneth Copeland from Josh. I, I mean, I've seen these late night uh, shows, you know, showing these evangelicals, you know, but I never remember their names, right? I never cared to remember their names because I didn't give a shit. Um, but then Kenneth Copeland, I mean, but then uh, Josh Brolin took a remix from What the Fuck, Bruh, Wind of God, and he starts sharing Wind of God, and then uh, Dwayne Johnson started resharing re it on Instagram, and then you got Josh Brolin, you've got uh, Dwayne Johnson, you got all these other celebrities showing it, everybody starts showing it, and it went viral. And now it's reached millions and hundreds of millions of people uh, around the world. Probably half a billion people around the world. Uh, so uh, half uh, billions of people know who Kenneth Copeland is right now. Uh, <laughs> all because of Wind of God. Yeah, but you know what? Howard Stern's getting old. You know, he's, he's old. I'll be honest, man. I have Sirius XM. Uh, I watch. I listen. I listen to Sirius XM, and my favorite TV, uh, my favorite radio station, it's uh, uh, XM Turbo. They play all the alternative rock and everything. So uh, XM Turbo. I listen to XM Turbo. Sirius XM Turbo. Uh, so I listen to Turbo Station all the time, uh, and then I also listen to Howard Stern. I listened to that recent interview he did with uh, 
George Clooney on the Midnight Sky. But here's the thing. Howard Stern is not where he used to be back then when he was on the clear radio, uh, clear channel radio. Right now, he's more mature. He's old. He's an old geezer. Howard Stern is old, okay? Uh, and uh, he doesn't have that same energy that he used to have, like back in the 80s and 90s. Like back in the 80, uh, 80s and 90s, dude, Howard Stern was unstoppable, dude. Uh, in the 90s, in 92, 93, I mean, fucking Howard Stern was unstoppable, dude. Uh, he was unstoppable. Him and Baba Booey in the, in the 90s, he was unstoppable. He was the king of radio, right? He was the king of radio. Um, just like uh, Art Bell is the king of uh, the night radio and uh, mysteries and all that, you know. Like, well, I would say Howard Stern, to be honest, if I have to say who are the two radio jockeys that I would say radio, I would say. Art Bell, William Art Bell, and Howard Stern. These two, let me tell you, they are the kings of radio. They have dominated radio. No one can replace William Art Bell. That will never happen. No offense, George Nury. Uh, no one can do it. That's number one. And number two, no one can replace Howard Stern. But Howard Stern is getting old. He doesn't have that energy. Even Baba Booey doesn't have that energy like they used to have in back in the days. It's just it's not there, you know, because they're old, uh, especially with this COVID-19 situation. But I still listen to them. I still listen to them. But you're right. <laughs> Howard Stern and Art Bell, these two, I would say, they were the kings of radio, period, period. All right, where's the goddamn key? Oh, man, the hell with this game. The hell with this game. Dude, what am I supposed to do here? I sound like an like Irish. What am I supposed to hear it here? What happened to roaches? They died. Dude, what do I do here? What the f Fine, whatever. I've been through here. There's nothing here. Oh, Lord. I need two more horses. Heads. Come on, man. How was I supposed to know that? How was I supposed to know that, Capcom? How? Motherfucker. I don't believe this shit. How was I supposed to know that? If you don't give me any clues, how? Please tell me. Please tell me, Capcom. How, much, how was I supposed to fucking know that? All right, Cameron. Thank you. Thank you, Cameron. Tomorrow we're going to continue Cyberpunk. Uh, I'm so deep balls into the Cyberpunk, man. Tomorrow we're going to continue Cyberpunk. Uh, but I really felt I wanted to show you guys the Luna. You know, Amazon Luna. And in, in return, I got lunatics to watch Luna. Bunch of lunatics coming in with their bullshit justifications of consoles and PCs and all this other shit. Let me save the game. Oh yeah, Resident Evil 3 and 2, I finished. That was great. 
But I have to admit, Resident Evil 7 is definitely tough. Uh, Resident Evil 7, it's, it's a tough son of a bitch. Um, I'm not gonna lie. It gets even worse. Alright. Let's get the goddamn horse's head. Let's do this shit. Alright, finally. Son of a bitch. Oh, look, man. Here's my thing. I like a challenge. I am a trooper. I like a challenge. But I don't like when they don't give you any clues. Give me at least a clue, man. Kind of give me some clues. Something. A hint. You know, like... Metal Gear Solid, you can call and find out, you can ask around, a hint, a clue, or something. Is that too much to ask, Capcom, when you are making these games? Is that too much to ask, to at least give me a goddamn clue, something? Hey, look over here, hey, look over there, you know? That's all I'm saying. But God forbid that I even ask about the clue. <sighs> Well, in Cyberpunk, you have Johnny Silverhand, and Johnny Silverhand, if you get lost, Johnny Silverhand will remind you and say, Hey, look. Look on your left. Oh, look on your right. Oh, at least he lets you know where something is. You know, but some games like this, it's just like, come on, you know? You shouldn't have to be like this. That's all I'm saying. All right, I need one more horse. One more horsey. And where is the recreation room? Recreation room. <sighs> Let me save the game. Hold on. I want to save the game, dude. I don't want to deal with this shit. One thing I learned about Resident Evil. And not just Resident Evil, but every game. Just save the game. Just double check, save that shit. Uh, there's nothing worse when you have to. This is why I cannot play Bloodborne. A lot of people ask me, hey, Mr. 4K, why you can't play a Bloodborne? And I cannot play a Bloodborne because when you die, you have to start from the very, very, very beginning. And I'm like, dude, don't make me start from the very beginning. I don't like starting from the beginning. I want to get another chance at the checkpoint I like a challenge but come on man don't make me lose all my stuff and I have to go back this is why I don't understand this fetish that uh, Japanese have with uh, with the Ninja Gaiden and uh, Dungeons and Dragons and I mean Dungeon um, Bloodborne and uh, what's the other one that latest PlayStation 5 remake they did. I'm just not into that fetish. It's fine and dandy. Japanese love that kind of stuff. But I'm not into that shit. Yes. This redneck here is not into that shit. Alright. Not into that crap. So there's your answer. People been asking me about the uh, Bloodborne. That's why. I'm not into that crap. I know there's people love that. There's a there's a demographics that loves that. And I understand. And that's cool. I respect that. 
that that there's a big demographic of of players who love that that's their fetish i respect their fetish it's your fetish enjoy it but i can't it's not my fetish it's not my thing i can't that's why i can't play uh bloodborne demon souls yeah another one is a demon souls man i just can't man i know the graphics are amazing cameron d i know they're amazing i know they are probably the currently best looking playstation 5 game next to the uh spider-man right but i just can't man imagine that you work really hard you go through all these levels you level up and everything and you lose all the shit and you have to start all over again can't man no 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 i'm gonna destroy that controller god forbid i might even destroy the playstation 5 and imagine that that wouldn't look good no that wouldn't look good um so i can't play it yeah man forget i know yoshida listen they made that game for yoshida Yoshida loves playing that, and I know there's a lot of players in Japan who love... Listen, I have friends who live in Japan, in Tokyo, and they tell me, man, they there's games you never heard about that they have available on PlayStation 4 that you never heard about because they cannot bring them here to the States. It would be just too much for us to handle because in Japan it's a different culture when it comes to pop culture and gaming and all that, all right? So anyway, they told me they love these types of games. They love uh, Soul Demons. They love playing uh, Bloodborne, uh, those types of games. They love that. Now, Ghost of Tsushima, I like Ghost of Tsushima. As a matter of fact, I need to get back to Ghost of Tsushima. As a matter of fact, uh, I love Ghost of Tsushima. I need to get back playing that game after I finish Cyberpunk. And I also got to finish Jesus Christ. I know Derek's been waiting for me. I need to finish, um, my God, Deadly Premonition 2. Um, should I, uh, I don't know. After I finish Cyberpunk, we'll do Deadly Premonition 2. Jesus Christ. I haven't, it sits right here. I haven't finished Deadly Premonition 2. Um, so I respect Yoshida. I know Yoshida loves that type of games. And I know a lot of, uh, Japanese in Tokyo, they love that type of games. They love RPGs, but they also love Demon Souls, Bloodborne, those types types of games. They really love that, like Ninja Gaiden. They they're really into that stuff, uh, and, and I that I respect that. Please don't get angry. I respect that. I understand that. But you, I, I need you also to understand. It's not my cup of tea. I know myself. And it's not for me. I cannot play Demon Souls. I cannot play Bloodborne. I just I tried it. And you know what I did? I almost destroyed my controller. I almost broke it. I was this close bro breaking it, like th like this much close of breaking it, like right there. I think. Uh, Anthem, it's nothing's gonna happen because Casey Hudson has dropped out of it. Uh, Casey Hudson has moved somewhere else. Uh, he's not part of it. So, um, I don't know what's gonna happen. I think there was a falling out with uh, Casey Hudson, who was the, uh, the lead creative director and a producer. Uh, and now with Casey Hudson having a falling out with uh, EA, Casey and, and EA, they had a falling out, and it wasn't good. So I don't think we'll see Casey Hudson coming back to um, Electronic Arts. Even though they're working on a new uh, Mass Effect 4, but uh, I don't think Casey Hudson's involved in it uh, because I believe the Bioware, the Bioware and Electronic Arts, you know, Electronic Arts bought the Bioware, right? So Bioware is part of the Electronic Arts. 
So Casey Hudson really can't do anything there. Uh, it kind of sucks because I really wanted to see Casey Hudson work on Mass Effect 4. Are they going to make some kind of compromise? Are they going to bring Casey Hudson back to work on the Mass Effect 4? That would be great. I think it would be a smart move for Electronic Arts to make some kind of a deal with Casey Hudson and Bioware and bring him back on board and give him that creative freedom. He started the Mass Effect 1 on Xbox and then he moved to PlayStation and PC uh, on the Xbox 360, excuse me. And uh, was it Xbox 360 or was the original Xbox? I forgot. I think it was the original Xbox, I'm sorry. So, Casey Hudson did a great job on Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 2, and Mass Effect 3. Um, and he was not involved with uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. He had nothing to do with Mass Effect Andromeda. So I want people to understand. Forget about Mass Effect Andromeda. He had nothing to do with that. Okay? Uh, he only did Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 trilogy. Is he going to come back? I hope Electronic Arts makes a smart move and bring him back. Uh, let him have that freedom. Work with uh, Bioware and uh, let him. I think you deserve to give the guy a chance. Because of him, you, you earn a lot of money. So you should give the guy a chance to, to bring back the Mass Effect 4 in a way that makes sense with the previous three games. So the fans of Mass Effect can relate to the first two, three games. First three games uh, with the Commander Shepard. So it would be great to see that. But uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I know that Mass Effect 4 is in development, but I don't think Casey Hudson is in it. I really don't think so. Unless you guys have a better news or you find out that they're bringing him back, I don't know. Maybe they'll bring him back, but I haven't heard anything about him coming back on board. Especially with the Anthem disaster. Uh, the investors and Electronic Arts, they were like, listen, man, um, the Anthem has turned into a total disaster shit show. Uh, but I don't think it's Casey Hudson's fault. I think they hired him to, to be supervised to supervise the uh, the team but the problem with electronic arts is they're trying to compete with Bungie you can't compete with Bungie Bungie established themselves with Destiny Destiny it's a huge franchise a lot of people playing fr uh, Destiny and now you're trying to create something like Anthem and you're trying to compete with uh, Destiny franchise Almost like CD Projekt Red trying to compete with Grand Theft Auto. Dude, I look, my bulls are pretty decent size. Okay, pretty decent size bulls I have. But I don't have those kind of big juggernaut Godzilla bulls to, let's say, compete with Rockstar, Grand Theft Auto. I don't have those kind of bulls to compete with Rockstar and Grand Theft Auto. I wouldn't even dream of trying to remotely compete with Rockstar and Grand Theft Auto 6, for example. Who would have that kind of balls to compete with Grand Theft Auto 6? Good luck. So EA made a mistake. It's not Casey Hudson's fault. It's a EA. EA was pressuring. They were putting pressure on Casey Hudson. They hired him and they put a pressure and a deadline for him to release this mess of Anthem. But EA is not going to tell you that it was their fault. EA is going to say, oh no, the, the, the Bioware and, you know, the, uh, the Casey Hudson, they screwed it up and da 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 da. The company doesn't want to take the fall. They want to blame the middle guy, you know. Dead Space was great. They need to bring back Dead Space. I mean, listen, man, EA really fucked up. EA. My God.
<laughs> Ooh. EA is going to have to start fresh this year. Electronic Arts, start fresh this year. Learn from your mistakes, for the love of God. Learn from your mistakes. Start fresh. It's never too late. It's 2021. Start fresh. This is your chance, Electronic Arts. Start fresh. When you look at all the history in the past, what EA has done, they even killed Dragon Age. Look at the franchise they killed. Dragon Age, rest in peace. Titanfall, rest in peace. Battlefield still there, barely hanging on. <sighs> now they're trying to reboot the Medal of Honor. EA, come on. Come on. And Madden, oh my god. Madden, it's a disgrace. Madden is a total goddamn disgrace. Uh, FIFA, it's still there. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's doing its thing. But they need to stop with the microtransactions for, for crying out loud. They need to stop with that nonsense. Uh, and this goes for 2K games as well. 2K sports. Stop with these microtransactions. Um, EA is not alone. You know, 2K games, Rockstar games, uh, Activision, Blizzard. EA is not alone. Bungie, you know, there's a, it's a pretty big number of uh, money whores out there with the microtransactions. So EA is not alone, but EA has really fucked up in the past. There's no question about that. <clears throat> anyway, let's save the game. That's why I never judge even the perfect dark. When I look at the trailer of the perfect dark, I was like, what are they showing us? Is this some kind of uh, CGI animated movie? Yeah. On a supercomputer, LucasArts, you know, rendering that trailer. I want to see, uh, how about don't show me a trailer? Can't you make a trailer with a gameplay? It shouldn't be difficult. If you're a good video editor, you shouldn't have a problem doing a trailer with a with a in-game playthrough right why can't you show us a playthrough trailer with a playthrough you know with a game like a five minute gameplay uh trailer <sighs> cut it put it together show us the actual gameplay all right in-game engine gameplay 60 fps ray tracing all this other jazz why don't they do that? Why do they have to make these dramatic, you know, uh, you're not making a movie. On a movie, it works because it's a movie. On a video game, it does not work because it's a video game. And, and I don't get it. You know, I don't get that. Why, why, they, why can't they just make a gameplay trailer instead of just the uh, CGI heavily animated trailer? And you know that's not how the game's gonna look. You know that's not how the game's gonna look. Show us the actual like this. Cut it and cut the trailer like this. Go to the next scene, the next level. In-game footage, 60 FPS, DLSS on, high dynamic range on, higher textures. Ray tracing, gameplay footage, here we go, action, 60 FPS. That's what people want. That's what I want to see when I'm looking at a trailer. But it has to be like a movie, like a movie trailer. It's not a damn movie, it's a damn video game. All right, what do we got to do now? Look at the bookshelves, bookshelves, bookshelves. Where are the bookshelves? Where's the recreation room? Is it upstairs?
And then people ask me, why are you so agitated, Mr. 4K? Why so agitated? Because I don't get it. I mean, why these companies are making the same mistake? They must think we're stupid. It's either they don't care or they must think we're stupid. It's got to be one of the other or both. It's either that or both. We're not stupid. But they think we're stupid. Show us the goddamn gameplay. All right? Jeff Keighley, talk to the developers, Jeff Keighley. When you do these uh, awards, when you do the E3 show, guys, put a gameplay trailer. Please. Thank you. Even Angry Joe agrees with me. Even Angry Joe agrees with me. We don't care about these long-ass dramatic music with Hans Zimmer and the symphony. We don't care about these CGI animated trailers. We want a gameplay trailer. It's not a movie. It's a video game. Don't confuse the movie with a video game. And don't confuse a video game with a movie. Oh, God. I need to live in the forest with the Sasquatches, man. Can't take this shit no more. <laughs> Exactly, there. Exactly. Oh, the bookshelf. She said the bookshelf. I got it. Where is the bookshelf? <laughs> the bookshelf is over here. I think I saw some books. Hold on. I think I saw some books. I swear to God. I could swear I saw some books. Wait. Oh, there it is. Nothing. That's Zoe. I think. recreational room oh recreational room where they play um right here yeah 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 search the book in the recreation room Come on, come on, come on. Books, books, books. Books, the books. I'll be damned. Oh, here we go. That's it. How do we open this shit? 
Oh, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Thank you. Ah, let's get out of here. For the love of God. Let's get out of here. Woo. Finally. Absolutely. I mean, look what happened with, uh, well, look at Neil Cockman. What, what a geezer he is. What a bullshit artist he is. Neil Drockman. Lied to us, flat out. With Troy Baker. I, but we can't blame Troy, because Troy Baker was told to hush, 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 hush. Okay? So he couldn't say anything. And, of course, he's not going to say it in front of uh, everybody watching. And what's his name? Uh, Neil sitting there. So Troy couldn't say anything. Troy was paid to hush, hush. And imagine how he felt. And Neil, look at the audience clapping on an E3 show. Everybody clapping because they saw Ellie and... What's his name? Uh, Joel Miller. Joel. Joel and Ellie. And they saw Joel approach Ellie, grabbed her. She turned around and she says, what are you doing here? And then Joel says, you think I'll let you do this on your own? And everybody started clapping. But in fact, it was that Dina's boyfriend, that Asian guy or that Japanese guy, that was the one that grabbed her and says, hey, you think I'll let you do this on your own? But in, but in the trailer, it was Joel Miller. And he says to Ellie, you think I'll let you do this on your own? People forgot about that, right? But now he's in charge of Naughty Dog. He's the uh, co-vice president or whatever, co-president of Naughty Dog. So... You get rewarded for playing along. You will get rewarded for lying. So in this corrupt system, if you lie, you get earned a paycheck. You, no, if you lie, if you have no principles, and if you lie, you get promoted. If you have principles and you tell the truth, you get fired. So you basically have to strip yourself from all the morals you have to strip yourself from all the principles and you have to be a bitch. You have to be a whore. And Neil Cockman has officially become Naughty Dogs and Sonny's whore. Money whore. Official money whore. Yeah, no one wants to talk about that. Yeah, Jeff Keighley. Why don't you talk about that, Jeff Keighley? Jeff Keighley, he's another money whore. Do as you told. They're all part of the same club in Los Angeles, man. Do as you told. In this, because the Los Angeles, it's the capital of entertainment. Video games are being made there. Movies, TV shows, etc., etc. Okay, so LA is the uh, entertainment capital of the world. And they're all living there, including Jeff Keighley and, uh, you know, Neil Cockman, all these other fucking guys. So... He has to be part of the club. The same club. And he is part of the club. Sony, he kisses Sony's ass. Uh, they gave him a free PlayStation 5 with a bunch of goodies included. With everything. With all the accessories and extra controllers. You name it. Why? Because he's a good boy. He's a good servant. He's our money whore bitch. We're going to make him rich. But he has to play by our rules. He has to be a good actor. He has to be a great actor. And he has to play by our rules. And he needs to read that teleprompter. Or if he doesn't read that teleprompter, we will take that Game Awards show from him. He will not be part of the Game Awards show if he says the wrong thing. So he better not say the wrong thing. Why? Because he's our bitch. He's our money whore. It's fucking puking disgusting. 
That's why I could never live in that fucking town. It's so disgusting. Okay? I imagine trying to live, uh, trying to work there. Trying to work there. You have to strip yourself from all the morals, from all the principles. You have to, you have to become a whore just to be there, to work there. No, thank you. Kiss my ass. Everybody's clapping. Oh, Jeff Keeley. Oh, Kojima and Keeley romance. Yeah. And then Greg Miller, of course. I know he's in San Francisco, but still. He's part of the club. He's kissing ass to Sony. He's kissing ass to Yoshida. He's kissing ass to all of them. They're part of the same club. Got it? Capiche? Capiche? They're all part of the same club. And you and I, we ain't in it. Got it? Good? Capiche? Capito? Finito? Good. Move on. It's pretty sad. I have to fucking tell you this. That you can't that you guys can figure this shit out. I figured this out a long time ago. Long, long. That's why no one can pull bullshit in front of me. That's why some people are afraid to be my friend. Because they know I can read them if they try to pull the bullshit on me. And they know they can't lie to me. Because I know I'm going to call them immediately. And I'm going to expose them immediately when they start bullshitting me. And that's the difference between you and I. Just so we clear. And that's why I don't hold the flag. And I'm not a fucking cheerleader to anybody. Oh, it's 3 a.m. in the UK. Thank you, Daryl, man, for uh, following me since 2015. I didn't know that, honestly. Thank you, Daryl. I thank you for being honest, for letting me know that you've been uh, watching me and, and subscribe to me since 2015. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. You earned it. You earned that, man. You earned that title. Uh, since 2015, man, that's a long time. And I appreciate that. I just want you to know. Thank you. You'll probably catch me tomorrow, Cyberpunk. We're going to... Uh, dive deep into cyberpunk tomorrow i'm really deep into the game on stadia so for those of you uh who are offended by google stadia don't bother coming here for those of you who are not offended by google stadia then you're welcome here Should I answer the phone? No. Oh Lord. I already I already watched that tape. I need more coins. I need six more coins. Let me save the game. 
I'm gonna save the game right here. Well, it's been seven hours, holy shit. We've been streaming for seven hours, I can't believe it. Seven hours, I haven't had a single hiccup with uh, Amazon Luna. Look at this, man. Seven hours, I haven't had one single hiccup. Oh, what is this? Broken handgun. All right. That's Zoe. So I did save the game. Let me save it one more time just to make sure. get this thing. I can help me and we can get out of here. Right. And so can I. The old house is near the water. You can't miss it. All right. I just hope you can handle my mother. Your mother? Be careful. They'll be looking for you. The hell is this? Oh, it's already 10 o'clock. Jesus, today just went by so quick. Yesterday I did 15 hours, and that was freaking crazy. Uh, <clears throat> I've never done that for a New Year's Eve, where I've done transition between 12 o'clock noon and then 12 midnight into the 4 in the morning. Uh, that was pretty in insane. That well, We did that for 15 hours. Um, and today I did 7 hours with this game. Uh, Resident Evil Resident Evil 7 Biohazard listen it works uh, that's, that's the important thing here that it works uh, yesterday I did 15 hours with Cyberpunk and if you look at Cyberpunk I had maybe one hiccup but I had to reload the game it was nothing serious but everything else was running smooth for 15 hours man if that's not a proof to you how well Stadia runs, then I don't know. Uh, even Luna here, look at this, seven hours, haven't had one single hiccup. Seven hours, not one single problem. Um, this is proving to me that cloud gaming, it's, it's already here. It's working. It's working. And it's only going to get better and better and better and better as technology progresses. You know, and uh, it doesn't matter if you like it or don't, this technology is going to progress. It's going to evolve just like everything else, it evolves. You know, so I'm going to get going. I, I can't believe it's already 10 o'clock, man. Believe that shit? 10 o'clock already? Um, seven hours. I'm incapable of making a short live stream, like uh, Desperado says, Mr. 4K, it's incapable of doing a short live stream so I'm gonna get going I hope you guys enjoy this um, hopefully this live stream will give you some idea how uh, Amazon Luna runs 
and that how well Resident Evil runs on Luna. It's 60 FPS. I'm using a controller, but I can use a mouse and a keyboard if I want to. I mean, I can use mouse and keyboard if I want to. It's right here. So I have that option. 60 FPS. Now it's 1080p 60. But what's, pro what's the problem with that? That's a huge achievement to have a low latency and 1080p 60. And I'm not even using an Ethernet cable. I'm using a Wi-Fi, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi router to achieve this. And what does this mean? If I give Amazon Luna a credit, or if I give Google Stadia a credit, what does that mean? Does that mean I'm married to the, car, to the company? Does that mean I'm all of a sudden their spokesperson? No. I'm not a spokesperson for anybody. Okay? I don't belong to any company. Amazon is not paying me. Google Stadia is not paying me. PlayStation sure as hell is not paying me. And Microsoft sure as hell it ain't paying me. No one is paying me. No one sponsors me. I'm here to give my own analysis and my own perspective. When there's a criticism needed, I will give that criticism when it's needed. But when the credit is due, I will give that credit where it's due. Okay? And that's how I work. But I also don't put up with a bunch of bullshit. That should be clear to everybody who's been watching my channel, who understands my channel. That should be clear. Um, I'm not going to put up with you typing in some nonsense, some bullshit, some retardedness that nobody cares. Because that's my channel. I make the rules here. I decide. Okay? Because I don't tolerate stupidity. Especially for somebody who comes in here, doesn't contribute anything, just comes in here thinking this is some kind of like a fraternity club, free for all, come in here and type a bunch of stupid bullshit. That's not how I operate. Okay? You got the wrong idea about my channel. I can respect your opinion, but don't write stupidity, please. Don't write something that doesn't make any sense. Saying, oh, that really sucks. 1080p 60 really sucks, dude. Yeah. <sighs> sucks. It sucks for you that you think that way. That's what sucks. It really. I feel sorry for you that you think that way. That 1080p 60 sucks. And you should feel sorry for yourself too. Thinking that 1080p 60 sucks. Especially for a cloud gaming. For a cloud gaming, that's a big achievement. But anyway, I gotta go. I gotta run. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a cyberpunk. Man, we got a lot of missions to do in cyberpunk. Um, we got that mission with Jody. We got that mission with... Um, what's her name? Pan Am. And things are getting heated between me and Pan Am. What I mean heated, it's like a little romance thing going on. And uh, I got other missions I have to do, man. There's tons of shit I have to do before I meet Honako. Honako and then proceed with the main mission of Honako. And then become Johnny Silverhand. Uh, so that's going to be tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow on that. Don't forget. Yes, Mr. Urban, man. It feels like it's already here. Look at this. It's already here, man. Look at this. Come on, man. But no, this sucks. Yeah, this really sucks. This really sucks, my friend. This really sucks. Look at this, man. This really sucks. What can I say? This really sucks. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Take care. And here, just to prove that it is uh, here. 
Hold on one second. Hey, I'll prove it to you right now. Here. Let me save the game and I'll prove it. Because people want some kind of a proof always, you know. It's always the fucking proof of these guys. Bunch of Karens running around. Whether it be a stolen valor, just because everybody wears a uniform doesn't mean they're fake. You know, you got these Karens with fucking for mask, for stolen valor, for this, for that. Fucking Karens everywhere. Hold on. Here. I'm going to exit the game. I'm going to show you. And I'll, I'll make that. Hold on. I don't know why it doesn't work. Hold on. Wait. Yeah, I'll prove it. Here you go. Um, here it is. Just so people know that it is really Amazon Luna. Because I know some people are going to say, Oh, no, it's not Amazon Luna. You're full of shit, Mr. 4K. You got to prove everything these days. I still haven't finished this. It's something I need to finish. Uh, Plague, Tale of Innocence. Primal, I haven't finished. Contra Collections. Star Wars Pinball. Uh, but here it is. Resident Evil Biohazard Gold Edition. Includes everything. And clearly says here 1080p. With 5.1 audio. And here, I'm going to start the game. You're going to see it. You can also see Shift and Tab. See? Now, if you have a controller, if you have a Amazon controller, which I need to get, which I need to buy, it it connects directly to the Wi-Fi with the Wi-Fi, it connects directly to the servers. So you're probably going to get 13 milliseconds uh, response time. Why? How is that? How, how could you possibly have a 13 millisecond response time? How is this possible, Mr. 4K? Because you're using a Wi-Fi, you're not using a Bluetooth, you're using a Wi-Fi to connect to the server. So therefore, you should have the lowest possible latency. That's how. And there it is. This is it. Now you know it's Amazon Luna. I mean, it's great. The fact that you can click and play right away. The fact that you don't have to clear out the space. Don't have to buy an additional storage. Don't have to wait three hours to download something. Don't have to wait another half an hour to to update something. And then you still need an extra storage space to update. Come on, man. You can only install three different games. You need to buy another storage to put some more games. All of that costs money, man. You're looking at $800 just to store all the games you want to play just to buy the additional storage, buy the additional controllers, buy the charger for the controllers, buy the accessories, buy the headphones, the headsets, and all this other shit. Comes to $1,000 if you want to know. And then don't get me started with the video games. $75 you got to pay. All of that adds up, man. All of that shit adds up. Right? It does. But then people complain about this. $6 a month, really, dude? 
but I don't own my games. What is this? Do you think you're gonna take your games when you pass away? You're gonna take it to the heaven or hell or the afterlife? No, that shit's gonna be gone. You're not taking your goddamn games. You're not taking your goddamn movies with you. That shit's gonna stay for someone else to use. You're not gonna use it. Someone else is gonna use it. Okay, get it? You know? And I'm not trying to be an asshole here. But I just want you to have a tough love. Common sense. That's all I'm giving you. I'm giving you a common sense and tough love. Sometimes that's needed. Sometimes that's something you need. You think I'm your enemy? No, I'm, I'm your friend. Probably the best friend you'll ever have. Because I'm helping you. I'm giving you some great advice. To think, to think rational. To use your head. To be smart. Not to be just waving that flag of tribalism. All right, I'm out of here. Same thing here, man. Big Mac? Hell yeah, guess what? Forget the Big Mac. I got a banana. I got a banana, man. You want to know how I eat my banana? This is how I eat my banana, like this. That's how I eat my banana. Now you know. All right, guys, I'm out of here. There you go. I'll see you tomorrow with uh, Cyberpunk. I'm outie.